八。留守番を頼んだよ。かしこまりました、マスター。エクセレント。八。charge. Gentlemen, I hope y'all got your panties tied up and uh, unbunched. Well, we have Tekken Beef ahead of us. Let's go ahead and get that card up. Alright, people. We just got open call outs for most of the day. We'll see who rolls up to party with us. We do have a matchup scheduled for our opening contest. I'm gonna go ahead and get those people. Let's see. Uh, turn myself up. Is the volume down? Volume too low on the mic? Let's see. Test, test, test. Test. All right, you hear me yet? Is the sound working? Does it work here? This is where it needs to work. All right, because we got Boob versus Red Leaf up first. Boob and Red Leaf, please report down to ringside. Let's go back down to uh, the card here. So we have Boob and Red Leaf as our opening contest. And then we got Pika stepping up at 3.30. And then we got, hold on, I'm atting the people in the Discord. I'm letting them know. I'm letting them know what's up. Okay. And then we got Pika at 3.30. T-Mob at 4. 
Goop Taco. I don't know who this Goop Taco is. Hopefully they're good. Kratos coming in, then Don, then Doug Trax, and then our main event is just open to whomever, my peoples, whomever shows up. So, we will wait. We will wait to see if our friends roll up to the ring. We are calling down. I see Martian. We are looking for Red Leaf. I am watching Twitch. Oh, Red Leaf is in Discord. All right, so I'm going to just send out invites straight away. Red Leaf versus Boo. Boop says, give me a minute. Oh, 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 now he needs a minute, bro. Now he needs a minute, ladies and gentlemen. It is going to be Red Leaf versus Boob. But before we do that, let's look at the top eight, ladies and gentlemen. Ugh, look at that. Where are we at? Somebody get me back on the screen, ladies and gentlemen. We, I actually have to wait for an invite from Boob. So we're going to wait for the invite from Boob as we go over the top eight right now. <laughs> I expect this to change drastically because it is open call out day, right? So one of these killers could show up and just mop everybody across the board, do all of their makeups and then win it all. Oh, okay, Boop says I can create the lobby myself now, so that's what I'll do, all right? But it is open call out almost all day, people, so I'm expecting this shit to get super, super duper sweaty. And our first matchup is Boop versus Redley. That's like a straight up dream match, people. Dream match. Somebody get the pole up, all right? Get the pole up. We're going to get 20 minutes on this poll. I want you guys to really, really put it down, baby. Really put it down. And remember, who had the best gear? I hope you guys are ready for hype. I'm getting these invites set. I'm getting these invites out, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Where is Boob? Boob is not online. Boob, why are you not online? Boob. Boob, what is going on? I'm sending Boob an invite. I'm sending out an invite to Boob. Let me see if he takes it. All right, all right. Boob says that he is coming. Boop needs to get his ass in here, okay? And he needs to make sure he comes in fresh because ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know, my man. That's right. Boob is the most fashionable. Well, next to T-Mob. Boob and T-Mob are the most fashionable. Indeed. Oh, you know, I gotta send this out to the people. Let me send this out to the homies. Uh, uh, uh. I forgot. There are some people that don't know that we live. I'm gonna send them the link. Let me just send them the link, bro. Boob and Redley. I'm waiting for Boob to get his invite. And we'll see if Boom gets his bitch ass in here. But I gotta text all the people, okay? Let me text all the people. There's a lot of people that were like, when you go live, let me know, man. I won't watch. I'm like, all right, man. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Go get all the homies, though. Go tell all the homies, all right? All right, let me see where Boom is. Boom, you gotta take this invite, bro. Otherwise, you're a bitch, okay? Otherwise, you're a bitch. Because you're you're totally you're totally up now. Okay, it's your turn. You have to play. Red Leaf I see is online. So we are waiting for Boob. Is Boob gonna duck in the opening contest? Is that what we're gonna see? Boob says I'm loading. He's loading what? What are you loading, dog? Red Leaf's gonna free your ass up! Red Leaf is about to put it in your butt, okay? He's about to put it in your cone hole, all pooper, pooper. Hey babe, babe, no babe! No, see, now you got my wife looking at me. Nah, babe, it's, hey, it's Red Leaf, the guy that played video games with the white. He gonna beat up British people today because Boob is, Boob is the only English. He's not even American, but Sonic Fox is afraid of him. Nah, babe, it's for real. It's the dude that Sonic Fox got scared of. She don't believe you, Boob. She's laughing and playing with my, my, uh, 
we have a flag from, from medieval times, and she's over next to it, and she's mad at it, okay? But, but, okay? Okay? Boom versus Red Leaf, waiting for you to get online, asshole. Waiting for you to get online. I'm just, I'm just waiting. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, sir. Oh, I believe it's time then. I believe, I believe we need to get down to business. All right, all right, hold on. Let me fix my shirt. Let me fix my shirt. I already texted all the people. You guys ready to rock? I'm ready to rock. Good morning, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. The Trash Talk Temple proudly brings to you on a Friday afternoon. Motherfucking Tekken B. This cut is scheduled for a first of five with a 30 minute time limit. Introducing first our competitive design. You play on one side, represent the PC Master Race. I give you the Fox Hunter himself. Martian Eater! And his opponent on your right hand side also representing the PC Master Race, representing SoCal's finest offline with the front provide. I'll give you Red Leaf! Make sure you vote for who is most fashionable, ladies and gentlemen. Pick it up now, the vote should be out in the chat. Round one, ladies and gentlemen. See how I time that shit? Right from the meme to the match. And we live. That ain't edited, motherfucker. Oh, here we go. We got a knockdown boom. Tommy G Ranger getting floated. Red Leaf pulling out Fang with the K dash. Hey, babe, babe, he comes playing K dash. Hey, hey, that's Mrs. Badger's favorite king of fighter. All right, even though I talk to you guys every day about Kim Cap One supremacy, all right, she's all about K Dash. That's her favorite K in the K of fighters. We got a show with y'all. Now, nah, Boob getting up with a half kick. Boob with a flip, with a stop. Now, nah, we're waking up with a wild rising four. Boob with a back one, back four, four, four. Uh uh, no punish. Down back three. Low, mid check. Boob puts away the sword. While Red Leaf puts away the round, round one going to Red Leaf, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go, boom. Going for buttons, boom. Ooh, I like that. I'm gonna give that a holy shit. First holy shit of the day, ladies and gentlemen. Boom with the touch, boom with the launch, boom with the tornado. Here we go. Bam! Hamaru hard slash to end the combo. Red Leaf trying to get buttons out. Red Leaf getting mixed, waking up, wake up four. Checks with the mid, boom, interrupts. Boom getting floated though. Don't helicopter me, bro. Don't helicopter me. Boom, rank number one in Tekken Beef. Red Leaf, I believe, is in third place. I'm gonna give my statistics. Let me get my statistics. Hold on. <coughs> oh. oh. No, Red Leaf is in like sixth place, all right? And don't you get mad at the bird, all right? It's not bad manners, it's just good weed. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now tied one to one, armor denied, boob getting around. Now he's teleporting, he activated, what's the miss? Helicopter into Hamaru. We got a cartwheel, donkey, ah uh ah, -uh, answers with a shoulder charge. Does Red Leaf, Red Leaf now backing it up. He's got a little bit of a light lead. There's a lead with the launch. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a touch. There's a shoulder charge, wall established. Hold on, we're looking for side steps. He's like, yo, I see you moving. Boom, going for grabs. Boom, trying to get with that light lead. Still a little bit behind. Red Leaf can back it up and wait it out. 33 seconds on the clock. Let's see, Hamaru putting the sword away. Red Leaf looking for the mix. Boom with the interrupt. Boom has the light lead, and now it's Boom game. Helicopter, uh-uh, interrupt, uh-uh. Boom with the John C. Ladies and gentlemen, Boob now up two to one, and it is our opening match. Here we go, Boob with the check. Boob with the heat activation. Boob, helicopter grab. Check inside steps. We got a back three out of Red Leaf. Red Leaf with the lows to try and get some damage out. There we go, checks him with a string, stops it there. Not a natural combo without a counter hit. Red Leaf wisely letting it go there. Here we go, no punish from Red Leaf. Raw punish, or this time, Boob is English. Red Leaf has declined to state whether he wants the freedom point in the name of America. We got a late, we got a launch, he got a touch with a button. There's a relaunch after the tornado, heat activated. No! The drop! All oh, the sadness 
personified. He spends the heat, dashes in, baits the button. Ah, Boob pressing. And now Boob taking his own. There we go. I'm back. All right. Red Leaf can still demand the freedom point because Boob is English and he's not American and they lose points for lag. But Red Leaf is also a sweat. So he may be like, now nah, I'm going to beat your English ass through it. We got to throw escape. We got slide gimmicks. Red Leaf not following for him. Goes for the low. Down for us. one plus two. I believe that's unsafe. Boob not knowing his matchup knowledge. No fun is he wakes up with a flash player. He's a helicopter. Don't you sidestep me, sir. Now Boob telecute. We got a donkey. No, he doesn't go for the donkey, but we got the slide. Nice punish from Red Leaf. Takes a while rising four. Doesn't go for anything. Quickly. He's got the life lead. No need to be wrong on your frame data. There's a touch. There's a touch after all. Wall splat and the round going into Red Leaf. Round one. Up four. So Cal's finest against England. And here's a helicopter. Helicopter into explosion. Boom. Gets the hop kick. Tornado by the wall. Hamaru. To finish it, move now with a almost 60% life lead. And now there's the heat activated, trying to go for the down back. He did get denied. Hit the tornado at the wall. Red Leaf can get some decent damage here. Doesn't catch out heat. Spins it on an air top spot. Gets the wall splat. Here we go. Nice mix up again. Goes for a fish hit. Tries to keep it secret. Keep it safe. Gets the mix and the wall splat. Round two going to Red Leaf. Red Leaf said that win that you got. That's the win that you get. Here we go. We're side stepping. We're side swapping. We're looking for buttons. Uh uh. Red Leaf said you jabbing those. Red Leaf back dashing. Red Leaf back from up. No side step. Red Leaf very, very careful to not side step that range because uh, Hoshimitsu does have some very good anti side step technology from full screen. You gotta be very, very careful. You wanna side step him up closer where his tracking moves are a little slower. Oh, but he does have hop kicks. All right, there's a launch. Does not get the tornado at the wall. We're gonna wake up the shoulder charge. Shoulder charge in the air, Tatsu, elbows, and then we're backing it up, 28 seconds on the clock. Red Leaf does not have to win, he just has to not lose. And what's he gonna do? He's gonna wild rise and win. Oh, we got a donkey! Oh, boom with the double jab, helicopter! Oh, give me a holy shit, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Boom, now has the life leap, and Red Leaf can still come back. We were not dead yet. Red Leaf now has the life leap, and Boom can still come back. Ooh! Yo! Yo, I don't even believe in the world right now. On the day before the eclipse, when Jesus is supposed to come back and save us from the demons, we are seeing Magnificent Tekken. Magnificent Tekken, ladies and gentlemen. Yo, that was like the perfect slow-mo. That was like the best. Like, if I was going to show somebody this game and be like, you got to play this game, I would just show them that round. Right? Here we go. We got to touch. We got helicopters. We got moving in. No, he's fainting with those stance transitions. And Ridley is not falling for it. Advanced in. Gets the pressure started. Headbutt. Stop. Boop just taking it. Boop it. Punish. Back turn, heat activation, air Tatsumaki. There's a stop, air Tatsumaki. No, does not go for the elbows. Go for the, st uh, the uh, standing four, or back turn four. Boom, ducking under it, makes the call, gets the launch. Here's the tornado, heat activated. Big slice, ladies and gentlemen, and just like that, Boob is back in this one, and just like that, Red Leaf's about to steal it again. <coughs> Ouch, Boob. Went a little bit unsafe there. Red Leaf says, yeah, we take those, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Boob with a touch. Boob with the jab. Getting loaded. Red Leaf respecting, right? He blocked, but his block gave him back movement. And when he walked back, he saw the jab whip and said, oh, yeah, that's an easy float, sir. Nice conversion. Nice reaction. This is why Red Leaf does not want the freedom point in the name of lag. He's like, nah, man, in America, we just beat up British people. That's what we do. Boom, flipping around. Gets a low poke, another low poke, while rising. And Red Leaf taking round two. It is tied one to one in this first to five. But Boom has yet to get around on Red Leaf since his opening win, right? He got one match. And then Red Leaf just said, yeah, we're going to end that now. We're not even going to do that anymore. 
spends the heat, goes for the high, boom, duck it under. No punish on that again. Boom, going for these long punishes. That down for one plus two, I believe, is at least minus ten. At least jab punish. The prepping ain't safe. There we go. We got a chop. We got a big slice and a big heel. Boom, going for a great Muda. Boom, semi great Muda. Now he's backing up, puts the sword away. And Redley just says, yeah, I disrespect those with a mid. Redley backing it up. He's got a light lead. 24 seconds on the clock. He doesn't have to win, remember. He just has to not lose. Ducks the Muda. Down 4 1 plus 2. Boom, still not finding the punish. Boom with a hot kick. Redley has the punish. Redley taking it with a shoulder charge. That's going to put him up 2 to 1 on our number one ranked player here in Tekken B. Ladies and gentlemen, we could leave Luke C. Boob lose his top eight spot. We could see Boob stop being number one here today. If Redley wants to catch up and do a bunch of makeup sets against everybody, he can easily catch up to Boob's score and become number one in the hood. Like Crylock, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go, we got Lowe's. We got a headbutt and Boob not backing up. Boob going in, look for that parry. Parrying on his turn, interesting. Here we go, we got a chop, good chop, nice launch. Boob, gimmicks, there's a charge, there's some gimmicks. Boom, now, big Hamaru slicing. Boob taking round one, he's like, all right, uh, I'm gonna get serious now. Let me, let me, let me spark it up. There's a flip kick, jump back, baits, the kick up, but mistimed his punish, and so Redley, Getting a little bit caught up with some jab action. Now Redley backing up, side and in, slide out, slide in. Nice whip punish with the forward three, four. We got a launch, hold on. I see the pole for the fashion is tied up. What are these results we got? No, 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 we don't have ties, ladies and gentlemen. It is two to two. Who has the better gear? We do not accept a tie. You better vote somebody. Martin Eater or Redley. And if it's in the case of the tie, nobody gets fashion points. So who needs to make sure he gets his points up on the board and takes the lead, at least having the better fit than one Mr. Redley. He can lose first place in skill and fashion. Redley now while rising with a punch. Redley get long, boom. Good position for the wall. Don't fuck it up. There's the tornado. No, it doesn't get the tornado. Here's a grab. So we got a pro escape. Redley says, nah, I'm going to back it up. Hold on. Let me readjust. Let me reposition and figure something out. I'll bash in. I'll grab Boob with the throw escape. Boom. Now back it up. Uh uh. Black Terry. That was the counter hit. That was the launch. Boob getting the tornado. Here comes the heat. Boom. Going to Hamaru slice. Roar on. Wake up with the back to the wall. Worst place to be. Boob taking round two. Boob with the sword away, getting under those highs. Nice piece of the low crush proper or high crush properties. Ooh, that low fake out low. Boob is showing all the bags of tricks here. Nice interrupt. Got to float off of that wall splat. Boob looking for grabs. We got to grab escape with the side swaps. Very, very bad position for one Martian Boob Eater. Boob with the sword away. Flash parry. That gets blown up. Shoulder charge. Ah uh ah. -uh. Hot kick to stop the low. Getting a full coast to coast ball carry Hamaru slash and boom now catching it up two to two. Ladies and gentlemen, are we gonna see? Are we gonna see full on maximum hype? Are we going to a game nine, ladies and gentlemen? Are we going to a game nine? I'm ready. I'm ready for this. Let me get a sip of my coffee from my official merchandise. I have an ass motherfucker. Ah, so capitalistic, so uh, profitable. Make sure you uh, hit the high exploration point merch and then buy some of that expensive shit. All right, hold on, we got a touch. We got buttons, we got a back dash. We got slices, spins the heat, boom, whipping, whipping into an air toxic. Nice, counter hit, launch from that back turn. I believe that was down four from back turn. Not a fang master, all oh, boom. Says, all right, I'm just gonna bait and I am gonna get punished. Thought we were gonna get a button out of Red Leaf. He was gonna interrupt with some armor. Red Leaf says, nah, dude. No, we don't get hit by those anymore, dog. That's some, that's some like Gary level shit. Right? That's orange rank, bro. 
I'm like Tech and Bro Supreme. Boop says Supreme these lows. Supreme this helicopter. He's got a knockdown. Boop blocking the low. No punish again. Here we go. We got a wall slap with the heat activation. There's the tornado. Immediately Hamaru slap. Boop. Big life lead into another Hamaru slap. Into another Hamaru slap. Into another trap. Boop is just like, yo, let me just do it. Dog, 32 seconds on the clock. You got to come in on me. You can only sidestep one way. Boop going for lows. Boop getting a grab. He's in the corner. That was the worst. Corner to be in, boom, aggressively stealing that round. It is now one to one in a two to two, first to five. Yes, man, there's a lot of math and shit in fighting games. I'm gonna start talking about frame data, right? Don't you got that with that's fucking minus five or whatever. I don't know. I don't know that frame data. You don't know that frame data. I could have said minus five. I could have said plus five. You wouldn't even know. Here we go. We got buttons. Nice. Low profile, high crush from Red Leaf getting under some nonsense from Boop. Gets Red Leaf a little caught up, and now Red Leaf's pressure gets him the life lead. Goes in for more damage, backing it up, and now we got 33 seconds on the clock. Boob having to open up Red Leaf, but he's got the rage to do it. One touch, and Boob can take it home. Remember, Boob is Yoshimote. He's got low launchers. There, oh, another low there. Oh, he did. Oh, he went for a grab off of the helicopter. Boob now has no, oh, no, Boob. Going for a hopper, looking for the ship. There's a flip. Oh, that was the worst flip. That could put him into an airborne status. Now, if Red beat the proper punishment, oh, nice foot kick uh, punish there, or Fisher punish there. When Red Leaf caught him with that heat activation, Boop is considered airborne. Red Leaf could have converted for more damage there. He didn't. Um, I think he was caught a little bit off guard, but he still took the life lead and backed up. All right, Boop now has the life lead. Here comes the heat activation. Boop dropping the follow up. Well, the first hit of the follow up gets a grab on Wake Up. He's going to get rid of all the heal of the life. Nice kip up. Gets into the wall fight. He couldn't follow up. Red Leaf, unfortunately. Red Leaf goes for the heat activation, but doesn't give him. The jungle status that does though, and a tornado. There's a shoulder charge. There's a shoulder charge again. Red Leaf going up to round three to two over one Boobin to Guerrero Martian Eater the Fox Hunter from England representing the Rift Clan and the PC Master Race. Both of these guys playing for the PC Master Race. I'm sorry I haven't been able to get the graphics done for the different platform teams, but the platforms are competing against each other. And so right now I believe the PC Master Race is the number one platform in Tekken Beat. All of their players are all in the top eight. It's like the PlayStation, they're not even close, man. They're not even close. Here we go, Air Top 2. And that gives Red Leaf a little low mix up and a nice right lead. Knights with punish Red Leaf taking round one. Here we go, Red Leaf. No, sidesteps. Sidesteps a Muda. Sidesteps another Muda. Trying to bait a button out of Boob. Boob doesn't want to give it to him. Boob gives him a button. Red Leaf gets a quick punish. Now his pressure begins. Boob starts to try to get some pressure back, but he doesn't catch it. Nice whip punish, or kind of a whip punish. And there's a nice punish on the kip up, but he gets punished himself. Little uh, safe hit. Ooh, there's the counter hit. Blackberry Boob going to convert off this for the full coast to coast. Or not coast to coast, but one wall to another wall. He has the control. Oh, that's punishment right there. No, goes for the heat activation. Wants heat, wants blood spray. There's a hop kick, I said. No, Red Leaf bending the knee. Goes in the stance, checks movement, gets a low. Boom, now going for the hop kick. Red Leaf trying to check under it with a low. No, oh, the flow! This could be big. This could be big, ladies. Tyson. 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 And with that, Red Leaf has the lead. What's his play? No punishment. All right, eight seconds. Boop has to go in. Boom with a parry, and that was a godlike parry. God, oh, give me a holy shit for that one, ladies and gentlemen. That was. Oh, these guys are playing out of their minds. This has got to be one of, if not the hype is set in technically, but it's like every set is hype. Oh, boom with a wake up flash pair. Boom, back it up, looking for X blades. No, goes for the shoulder or the elbows. Low off of the back turn, gets the low launch, round two gonna go, or second round gonna go to, no, interrupt the boom boom, can still come back, he gets into a swami stance, here's a grab, no escape, throw escape, and boom backing up, oh, boom taking that down back three, very dangerous from Fang, very scary, two rounds up now, boom, tried to check, a little bit of a punish, red lead with a light lead, looking for top kicks, not finding enough, boom, Gimmicks backs up, Red Leaf with it down by three. Boom, tough condition to that back one. 
Wild, nice. Oh, Chinese get up. No punish for Boo. Boo gets out of helicopter. Boo slice again. Goes back it up. Goes for the poke. Redly pitch. Dangerously close to the corner. Nice throw escape from the side one, and that was kind of brilliant. Right, he waited it out. Didn't overextend, move overextended, went for the grab. That gave Redley a side swap, and now it's anybody called in. The corner is no longer a factor. Ooh, that flash parry, though, is a factor. Boom now. Boom! There's the follow up. Going in. No, back it up. Goes for the pressure. Backs up again. Gets whip punishment. Maybe activation. And that brings Redley to game point, set point, match point. It is four to two, ladies and gentlemen. Do or die for one Martian Boobington, the first of his name, straight out of one, uh, not really quite you. United Kingdom anymore. Yeah, they seem to not really get along with the, themselves, those Islanders. All right, boom. Let's do it. You go have to win every match, but it is game point, set point, match point, death point. We got to kind of win this one. Boom. With a flip or with a uh, car wheel. Looking for the lows. Cute little low. A deceptive hitbox. Boom getting clipped out of Swami stance. Boom, now backing up. All right, Redleaf with the check. Cancel. Backs up. Redleaf hit and run tactics. He doesn't want to overextend. He wants to catch up very slowly and conservatively. No need to really go wild with this rush down. He's got Fang. He can get the damage. Just be patient and wait for the opening. There's 26 seconds on the clock. We have plenty of time. There's that low. Boom. Not to punish. Maybe he just can't punish him with that. Ooh, hop kick. And he was already flying. So, no juggle. Boom. Gimmick. Oh, grab. Throw his kick. Boom. There's a car wheel. He drills his way out of danger. Looking for slice and red leaf with the heat activation there's not two gets called out no double spins the heat gets the mix up boom on the wall boom oh kick oh the tie all right we're starting round two with a holy shit <laughs> starting round two with holy shit this is a bro a tie for real boom with a flip kick into tornado gets the launch activates heat Move another wall splat, boom, 30% or 50% up, almost, all oh, that, no, ooh, that got around it, I can't believe the things that I have witnessed, ladies and gentlemen, witness, witness, all right, boom, looking for that slide, getting it, no, boom, getting kicked in the face, Katsumaki, he's plus low, uh-uh, boom, gets the flash, Perry gets the launch, gets the touch, goes two to one, on Red Leaf, and we just still got games to play, ladies and gentlemen. We still got games to play. Red Leaf with the touch, move with the side sweat. No funny. Catches him with the sidestep, check with the trap. Boob goes in, boob with a pencil. Boob, Ikuzo, launch, baby! Here's the tornado. Boob does not position himself, goes right for the damage. Gets the Hamaru. There's a donkey that gets punished. We got heat activation. Boob with the hot kick. Boob calls out the low. Says, nah, don't low me on your plus. However, Red Leaf gets the low there. Red Leaf with a nice wall conversion. Red Leaf now has the life lead after two reads. Air Tatsumaki with the read. Touch, knock down. Two rounds up. This is it. Do or die. Boob absolutely has to win this match in the name of like, I don't know, whatever the fuck he stands for. Maybe Boob doesn't stand for anything. Red Leaf representing SoCal's finest offline players. Redley, a big, well-known sweat lord, wins a lot of the tournaments here. So, he's looking to show the rest of the world exactly what SoCal has to offer. And here we go, we got a we got a helicopter, dash in. Uh-uh, Redley, with the throw escape, boom. Ikuzo, cancel, boom, chasing, boom, pressure back up, boom, spends it. Uh-uh, safe, boom, keeping it very safe. Push the cancel back, gets interrupted, Redley coming in. Uh-uh, Ikuzo, Redley getting another touch, boom, can win it with one. One more combo though. Oh, why? Why? Why, Boob? Why did he do the scrubliest of things in the world? The scrubliest of all things that could be done is the thing that Boob has done, ladies and gentlemen. You see the score. You see the score right now. Take a look. Take a gander. Let me go ahead and get the official. Uh, hype uh, up here, 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 here. Uh, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Hold on, let me, let me get it. Let me do it. Let me do it. Are you ready? Are you ready? Here we go. That's right. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this contest with a score of five to two in our opening contest of Tech and Beef, representing the PC Master Race and the Southern California's online tournament scene with a record of five and oh, undefeated. He's probably about to be number one. I'll give you Bradley. But we are not done. Let's find out who was the winner of the fashion boat, ladies and All right, and the winner of the fashion boat goes to, with a score of four to one, Martian Eater! Martian Eater remaining the most fashionable among us, even in defeat. Let me go ahead and record these scores for posterity, ladies and gentlemen, as we move along into our next contest. Let me see who that is. Who is our next competitor? Aw, oh, y'all know who it is. It's motherfucking Pika. Who's going to step up and take on Pika in our open call out, ladies and gentlemen? Who wants to take some allegedly free points? It is up to you. I'm watching YouTube and I'm watching chat. First come, first serve. Who wants a Pika Pikazard? Ladies and gentlemen, this, whoever, I don't know. I don't have control over these things. I don't have control over this one. You will have to find out, right, by looking in the chat. Just look in the chat, you'll see. You'll see. All right, who do we got? Oh, on YouTube side, we have Doc saying he wants a Pika Pika. Is there anyone on Twitch? On Twitch, I have nobody stepping up, so it looks like it will be Dark K versus Pika. Okay, I can respect that. Dark K versus Pika, please step into the arena. Dark K versus Pika. This is gonna be stupid as hell, ladies and gentlemen. This is gonna be absolutely Grow stupulous. Dark K and Pika, please step into the ring. This is gonna be toxic as fuck, I swear to God. Dark K and Pika, yeah, this is probably gonna be the most toxic shit. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna give you guys 15 minutes to vote on that one. 15 minutes to vote on that one. All right, here we go. Invites are out. Invites have been sent. Dark K versus Emo Pika. Are y'all ready to rock? Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, the Trash Talk Temple proudly brings to you motherfucking Tekken Beef. This contest is scheduled for a first to five with a 30 minute time of it. Introducing first our competitors on your left hand side, player one representing T PlayStation. I give you Pika. And his opponent on your right hand side. I don't even think he has a fucking name. Also representing PlayStation, rocking auto combos. I give you Dark K. Make sure you vote for that which has the most sweat. Round one fight, Pika getting activated on, oh, we got Eddie Gordato, oh, we got DLCness, 
Pika having to fight through DLC this with the auto combos. Ladies and gentlemen, do note that auto combos are not activated, okay? Dark K does not have auto combos turned on right now. This is real Eddie Gordo. Oh shit, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Pika with buttons. Pika going for the sway, getting hit with the low. Pika conceding round one to Dark K. Dark K on your left hand side. Sorry, I had the names and the announcement wrong. Left hand side, Dark K rocking Eddie Gortado instead of his usual Victor Fonte, Victor Chevrolet. Pika, as always, playing William Eddie. Now with the heat activation, and now he is backing up. Dark K is like, yo, I don't gotta press. I don't gotta press. Here we go, Dark K goes for the armor. Dashing with Pika, Chinese get up. Dark K with the armor. Pika eats a low. Ah, uh -uh, super on activation. Holy shit! Pika, now with the life lead. Chad is saying you can't see auto combos when spectating. Oh no, it'll show me, dog. This shows me when they pull it up. Here we go. He's not even doing auto combos. He's just spamming half armor and grabs. And also, Eddie has auto combos. He's just pushed three, 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 three. Here we go. Look, that's three, three, three. That's an auto combo. Three, 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 dog. I lapped him when I was at a tournament. I don't. I have not bought Eddie yet. I haven't been able to go to the store to get a PlayStation Fight. card, but I did lap it at the tournament, and that is 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 It is its own auto combo, but it's not the actual, no, if he has auto combo, it should show. Mika says he is using auto combos. Well, I mean, he probably is using auto combos. He kind of a bit. All right, Mika getting a launch, and now Dark with a 3 to 1 take on that match. Putting Dark up one to nothing on Pika. Pika, don't get freed up by this auto combo shit. Use your nooch, Pika. Pika, Pika, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh. Focus on your nooch. Don't make me get the fucking black dude meme with the little white girl. Remember when we used to have the war room and I would be a little white woman surrounded by black dudes and I would have to explain to you that you're getting fucked by the meme, Pika? Don't get freed up, sir. Here we go, Pika going for buttons. Nope, we got sidesteps. Dark, eating a low. Pika getting a car wheel. Pika looking for sidestep, doesn't find him. Dark with the launch. Three, 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 three. And now Dark has one man bingo. The party may now begin. Pika looking for a run. Looking for that low. Pika sway, doesn't find it. Pika nice whip, babe. Doesn't get the whip. Gets the low to blow up the armor, but Pika getting low. Three, 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 three. No, this I believe is not three, 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 three. That might have been an auto combo. Pika getting grabbed. Tried to sidestep. Didn't sidestep the grab. Pika gets a launch. Pika gets a touch. Uh, anti air soup. Pika getting supered out of existence by the Mandingo party. Here we go, Pika looking for buttons. Uh-uh, Pika gets the sway, gets the touch, sliding in, whipping buttons. Oh, one, two, four, Pika getting the sway again. Pika sliding in, Pika running in. Both of these guys are actually pretty awful at this game. Okay, but Pika gets a grab, Pika gets a low. Pika dashing in, goes through the arm, or gets some damage out, but it's healed. Pika with another sway. Pika sneezing, and uh, there's a cannon into a ballerina. There's a trade. Pika getting blown up the armor from the heat activation, and Dark K taking round two. Pika crumpled against the wall, and now Dark K about to Capoeira, the pretty white one. There's a launch, sidestep launch from Dark K. Dark K with a tornado. Dark K with a Mandingo activated. Pika with a tornado with a leap, with a launch. Here comes the heat. Spins it early. Pika has the life lead. What's he doing with it? He dashes in, does a forward one, second, goes to the sway, gets the sway there. Pika looking for a button. No, down four, down four, down three. Wake up, one, two, on the Pika, one, four, or four, one, one, two. Down four, Pika just taking it with pokes, baby. Remember, it's all about them fundamentals. And that nooch, four, one plus two goes to the sway. There's the low, I believe that's down three plus four, or down back three plus four. No, down three plus four is the up kick. Here we go, Pika, running kick, Pika, goes for a button. Down poke, down one, down one, four, one plus two, Pika getting launched, Pika getting tornado. There it is, dash it in, drop the combo. That's not even a real combo. Man. I don't even think that would be an auto combo. Pika get the sway, Pika stepping on motherfuckers, and we get a whip, punish, super late. Nosso favor. 
Pika can still come back. Wake up, Super. Yes, baby! Oh! Give him a holy shit. I'm getting out of the... Let's go, Pika about to come back. Believe in Pika as he gets heat activated. Here's a grab, Pika stay looking for grabs. All right, we got a launch, 50% deficit. Pika looking for those, Pika flipping around. What are you doing, pay attention. There's a double arm cross chop. Pika getting a whip punish, Pika dashes in. Voila, four rumble suit, there's a sway. It gets blown up by a launch, it's gonna be big damage. Pika needs to make a big comeback. There's the heat, Pika wake up in the super. Pika just wake up in the buttons. Jumping in, eats the armor, wake up super. Pika just, oh, what did I tell you, is he dead? He is dead, ladies and gentlemen. Round two, going to Dark K. But Pika is learning, man. He's learning, he's downloading the skills. People are saying, I hear Eddie players don't pay bills. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like Dark K has proven them wrong with the three. He's using tactics, and I know that combo is just three, 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 three. So it's not like he's doing auto combos, ladies and gentlemen. Dark K now with a 2-0 lead on Pika in the first to five. Dark K just spinning in a circle. Look at this, is that the 10? Did he just do the 10? Pika, he did the 10, bro. Pika, he did the 10, bro. He got launched. Bro, you can't auto combo the 10. All right, Pika got combos. Here comes the heat activation. Is he spending? He's spending plus frames into the mix up. Goes to the overhead. Ah, uh -uh, heat and response. Pika flipping around. There we go. We got a touch. Into more touches. Back it up. Pika looking for the sway. There's the sway. Pika, if he gets a super, he wins this one. Back up. Pika looking for home buttons. Pika down four. Ah, uh -uh, do great. That was a choke of all times, but Pika's still in this one, ladies and gentlemen. I need to see belts in the chat, okay? Let me see belts in the chat. If you're actual Trash Talk Temple, you know what the fuck that means, all right? If you have been here and you know what is up, then you know what that means. Belts in the chat, people, I need to see him. Pika needs to see him. He's about to get freed up. It's two to nothing. He needs your chi energy. Pika getting around on the board. Round three. <laughs> Here we go, Pika getting with punish on the sidestep. We got a launch, there's the tornado. Dashing in, no Mandingo activation. Pika flipping over the dumb shit, goes for armor. Four, one plus two, goes for the sway. That gets called out, no punish there. Flip again into the overhead, one plus two, sway. Pika tried to catch the sidestep, but that was a little too slow of a startup sidestep catcher. And there's the heat activation that gives round two to Dark K. Pika, you gotta believe in yourself, bro. I need to believe in you, but I can only believe in you if you believe in yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, I am the only one who put belts in the chat. I need to see more belts in the chat for Pika. Pika, one round on the board. He needs to get two more. We got a grab, and here's some lag. Pika getting dunk, or no, getting drop kick. There's a one. Into some spins. We got one at Bingo. Pika getting the cannon. Cannon drill. And Pika creating some breathing room. Gets an interrupt of the, spa or the spamming. Here's some armor. Pika moving in. There we go. Interrupt the armor. Gets a crumple hit, but does not really capitalize. Pika looking for armor again. Ashlyn. Here comes the super. Pika block it. No! Pika, why didn't you block? Pika, all you got to do is block and then hit down forward to super. That's it. You saw I tried to block, but it was too late because you mashing. Down forward to super, okay? Keep that in mind. Block something. Down forward to super. That would have. That was your round. round. It's now three to nothing. Pika under Dark K. Dark K with the launch. Is this auto combo? Does it not show me if he's auto combo? And I thought it showed me if they were auto combo. Here we go, Dark K. Going all in on these auto combos. Pika waking up, waking up. Trying to check movement. Dark K blows and armors through it. Here's a grab. Dark K. Huge and substantial life being through the lag. Pika just pressing buttons. To look at this. Look at this corny ass shit, dog. Look, look, how is Pika? Bro, I'm giving a Pika a free fucking lag point. I fought Pika a thousand times, it ain't never that laggy. Get the fuck out of here. Whoa! 
Did Pika just throw a break? Yo. Okay, that deserves a free point there. Here we go, Pika. Your tip in the E. There's a ground. Oh, he did it again! Oh, no, these are intentional. Pika's breaking grabs, people. Pika's breaking. Half of y'all can't break grabs. He's been getting grabs for free, and now he's breaking grabs, people. Pika goes and goes for dumb buttons. Pika gets armor through, and now it's do or die. Two up. Pika about to get freedom. He got a free point for lag because I can plainly see the lag. I can plainly see it. It is as clear as day. Dark K, you laggy piece of shit. Pika, press some buttons. Here we go. Standing two. Four, two. Jumping in and jump kick is hitting the heat. There's a flip. There's another flip. There's some uh, uh, hand windmills into armor. Into down poke, blowing up the armor. Pika getting armored again. Wake up. One, two. Four, one plus two. Buttons. No, down four. Pika, no whip punish. Pika looking for a cartwheel. Gets armored. Pika looking for lows. No, interrupt. Standing two. Here comes the super block. God damn it! Nasfabur! Do you hear him, Pika? Nasfabur! Dark K about to take us home, ladies and gentlemen. Pika, you better start Xing the Balloon, bro. Yep, X. You can't follow the path ahead of you with fear in your heart. Jin Kazamba, believe in your heart and let go of your fear! Here we go! Pika Park plus X to believe. You're getting freed up. I gave you a freedom point! I see it's lagging! What more can we do? The rules are the rules! You get one freedom point. Now get in there and win the rest of these against this laggy auto combo having ass bitch. Here we go, we got buttons. Uh-uh, Pika with wild risings. Pika with strings. Pika with side steps into a cannon drill. Pika dashes in, looks for movement. Four, one plus two, sway. Pika down, three plus four, good son. Block. We got heat, no throw escape. Pika getting side swap, but this puts Dark in the corner. Pika with a low. Gets a four, one plus two, looking for buttons. Uh-uh, is this gonna kill? Boom! Pika taking round one, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Pika gets some buttons. Pika for one plus two. There's a sway. Move it down three plus four. We're not punishing now. We don't even know what a punish is. Pika just pressing. Nice whip punish from Dark. Dark gonna go for the auto combos. Ends it there like 58 damage because like I think he just learned how to play the game. Pika flipping around, not really getting anything accomplished, and instead getting grabbed on the heat activation. Pika just wakes up with buttons from a mile away. I don't know what he's thinking. I don't need to know what he's thinking. My mind's telling me no! This is the first match of the day that is R. Kelly certified. Dark K, R. Kelly, one on the board. Here we go, we got a flip kick. We got a launch, no he doesn't. Pika with a launch on the trade, double follow up. There's a cross top, Pika looking for buttons. Oh yeah, yeah, ah, oh, down three plus four, gets a touch, doesn't follow up, he has it likely, down three plus four. There's a ballerina, checks movement, Pika running in, spends the heat, Pika has a life lead, huge, substantial life lead coming out of that R. Kelly. Pika with a low, Pika's gonna do it, Pika's gonna get two to nothing, Pika's gonna do it, uh oh, we got a clip, we got a clip, we're running, uh oh, back three, four, here comes the super, Pika's gonna have to watch a couple. Here we go, Pika. You still have the life lead. You can still come back. 24 seconds on the clock. Get in there and do a low. Get in there and do a low. He all block. Okay, Pika's being smart. 19 seconds, 18 seconds. I ain't got to win. You do. Here we go. Activates the armor. Pika flipping big buttons. There's the suit. Oh. Pika pressed, ladies and gentlemen. All he had to do was block, and he pressed. All right. Well, this is it. Do or die, Pika. If he wins this one, you get freed up from the feet up. You need to take us home, buddy. Take us home in the name, in the name of oh, the throw escape. Pika getting launched. Pika getting carried. We got a club point. Look, start backing up. Pika spends the heat. Pika now, substantial life deficit. There's the one. Pika in the heat. Gonna spend it? Yes, he is. Pika catching up some of that. Going in. Bam, wall splat. Oh, Pika with a combo and a life lead. 
speak and getting hit with the armor. Careful. Oh, don't get it. Don't get it. No, no, no. You can't super super. You can't super super. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe in miracles. You can't super a super boot to get inside step. Here we go. There's a low. Pika, I believe. I believe. Come on, guys. X. Press it. We got to sway. We got to launch. Pika now we're about to get bumped. Damn it. Why did I start believing? Man, I was believing and then Pika just getting beat. Oh, I swear to God, Jesus. Gentlemen, here we go. All right. Anyways. Let's go through the motions now, all right? Let's do it all in proper uh, proper form. First of all, okay, after that round, you know we have a tradition. My mind's telling me no, but my body, my body's telling me yes. Oh, man, it hurts for me to do this, but... The winner of this contest with a score of 5 to 0, making him today's first freedom fighter, R. Kelly certified two times removed. I give you auto combo, bitch ass having motherfucking Dark K. Yes, it is unfortunate that Dark K, bitch ass, probably won with auto combos. However, Pika, now walking away completely empty-handed, does get one point in the name of lag because this motherfucker is corny and his shit do be lagging for real. Now, let's find out who was most best looking in that last... And the winner of the fashion vote with a count of three to nothing, I give you Pika! Pika, right behind uh, Boo and T-Mob in fashion points. So Pika could get right back in there in the top of the, uh, I guess the top of the fashion, right? Top of the fashion. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, let us find out what is our next contest, okay? What is our next contest? Load it on up while I go distribute some voting. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, looks like we got T-Mob up on deck next. T-Mob, one of SoCal's finest representing the offline scene who among you is strong enough to step to t-mob it is an open call out ladies and gentlemen who thinks they can step to t-mob i am going to open up the chat youtube and twitch let's go who wants a piece of t-mob y'all who wants a piece of my mans i'm gonna let them know I'm gonna let them know. T Mob, if you're not paying attention, you're up next. Alright. Alright. As soon as I see who wants to step up next, I will send out the invites. Pop a mat. Oh, that's T Mob. You ready to rock? Get signed in, bro. Where the hell are you? Who wants to step up to T Mob in the open call out? Who wants to step up? There's a lot of people that got makeup sets as well. So, the floor is open, ladies and gentlemen. Does anybody want to step in and wreck the shop? T-Mob says, I'm here, player. Let's do it. Let's do it. T-Mob, I'm just looking for you to log in. And then I will send him an invite. I will send an invite. And whoever wants to step. Pika says I'm never playing that toxicness again. Okay, you want to fight T-Mob? Who wants to step up to T-Mob? Pika, you might be able to beat T-Mob. You think? Maybe? Who wants it? It's an open call out. First come, first serve. T-Mob is taking on all challengers. Pika says, I need redemption. All right, let me see how many makeups Pika has.
Pika does not actually have any makeup, so if nobody else wants to step up, I'm sending it to Pika. Redleaf says he could get on. Oh, you know what? I'm going to send it to Redleaf. He's got makeups. You know what, T Mob? Here we go. T Mob versus Redleaf. Now that. SoCal Offline versus SoCal Offline. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're going to do that. Yeah, we're going to do that. T Mob versus Redleaf. We're going to do that. We're doing it for real. All right, Redley. It does not show him on, or show you online. So as soon as Redley logs in, as soon as Redley logs in, all right. Let me set up this poll. Let me set it all up. is up. T-Mob is like, damn, not Red Leaf. <laughs> T-Mob is not having a good go of it, man. He had to fight Tech and Tim. Now he has to fight Red Leaf. Oh, this is going to be rough. This is, look, he's in the chat losing his shit right now. Oh, T Mob, it's alright, bro. You could beat him. He's not that good. Dude, Red Leaf is overrated, man. I fought him. Yeah, he's not even dope, dude. He's like medium. He's just like, he's like average. Yeah, he's like average, but like in a medium kind of way. Like, like, if he was like a regular guy and then you were like not, that's how it is, bro. You gotta think like that, man. You gotta think like, yo, dog, Red Leaf's just a regular guy and I'm not. I'm not a regular guy. Poll is up, ladies and gentlemen. Invites are out. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, the Trash Dog Temple proudly brings to you motherfucking Tekken B. This contest is scheduled for a first of five with a 30 minute time limit introducing first our competitors representing Team PlayStation on the left hand side. I guess it's a Yosh main now. Team Mob! Oh no, that's Redley. Yeah, that's Redley. Well, his opponent on the other side represents the PC Master Race, and he's not Redley. Team Mob! And his opponent is Redley. I sent out the invites. I sent out the invites, so make sure you vote on that which is most fashionable, guys. Whoa! What was that? That fucking glitched. Here, hold. Am I the meanest? So not. Am I the prettiest? So Am I the baddest? Most mono down around this town. So I can't hear you. So Kiss my converse. <laughs> No, don't redo it. End it and then go to me. All right, get ready for the next battle, assholes. Let's go. T-Mob versus Red Leaf. This is a SoCal offline grudge match, and I got the names backwards. T-Mob. These have faced, they have faced each other in offline before. All right, so we're going to see how this goes down. Red Leaf going for Sergey. T-Mob pulling out Raven. And yo, it's like a, it's like a MC Hammer looking Raven, right? Oh, we're looking for but we're uh, that wall running too. T Mob backing it up, trying to make buttons. Got that counter hit. Got the float to the wall. Tried to wall running two again, but gets hit with a tip up. T Mob eats the low string and Red Leaf taking round one, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go, going into round two. Red Leaf versus T Mob. 
got a touch. We got a touch from Boo or no, from Red League. Or from Team Op, sorry. I'm trying to rearrange these names. Let me put the Red League name where it needs to be. But anyway, there we go. I was distracted. Don't be distracted. Otherwise, you'll end up getting a life deficit the way Team Op has against Red League. Team Op was in a strong position, lost that position. And now, each while running two, down two. Looking for that down back three plus four. Gets another low. Team Op trying to interrupt that low with the super, but nah. Red League ain't pressing buttons. Gets that down four two. Got to launch wall break and round two. Going to Red League. Team Op backing up. Team Op's gonna try to play a very, very defensive game because it's not one Red League to get in close. There's a low. Red League with the punish. Red League with another axe kick. Hold on. Nice launch from Red League. Wonderful throw. Boom! Down the wall flat. Oh, nice pick up on the wake up. And now Red League backing it up. 40 seconds on the clock. No need to overextend. Team Mob getting the touch. Team Mob 4 4 3. Red League backing it up. Red League. Wow. Rising 4. And now Red League up. 1 to nothing on Team Mob. Is this one going to go quick, ladies and gentlemen? Is this one going to go quick, Team Mob, man? You, you, you got to be ready for anybody, man. Anybody can show up, dude. Anybody could show up and get a chance and look for an opportunity. And then what? Right? Team Mob now going back to character select. He's going to rethink his uh, plan of attack. We may see a different character out of him. He does have Yoshimose as his avatar here. Look, right? That guy. So maybe we will see that here now. But I know Team Mob, he's more of a Victor Chevrolet player. And when he gets serious, he pulls out Victor Chevrolet, though I was looking at his statistics with another player at the tournament. Get ready and we for both the agreed battle. that his most powerful character was actually Yoshimitsu. That's who he has the best ranking with, the best win-loss record. Let's see what he does with Brian Fury. Whoa, dude, he made like a straight up and Bison Brian Fury. And Bryson Fury, oh, snake edge out the day. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. That was a bad, bad, bad idea. Uh, and yeah, now he's just eating lows. He better back up. Trying to go for strings. Clips uh, Red League. Uh -huh. Red League knows the punish to that. Red League's moving low. Team Mob checking with that standard three. Team Mob going for strings. One, four, three. There's that three. Uh uh. Team Mob knows where that low is. Three, two, one. I believe it's down at four. Or, uh, yeah. Three, two, one. Oh, well, we got launched again. Team Mob didn't play like a fiddle. And Red Leaf now going to close this one out with a down two. Round one going to Red Leaf. Team Mob. Fight. And Bison Bryan. There's a hop kick attempt. Three, three, four from Team Mob. Gets respected. Nice neutral duck from Red Leaf. Team Mob with a kip up. Team Mob down at three, two. No duck from Red Leaf. Red Leaf just going for lows. Team Mob interrupts with the heat. And now he spends the heat. Doesn't cash out. Goes for the low. Red Leaf is like, bro, dude, that's seeable. That's not a mix up. That's, that's a seeable thing that we can see. Here we go, Team Mob. Going for a down three. Standing three. Trying to put his face in game. Red Leaf looking for that low parry. Team Mob clips him with a mid. Red Leaf's like, all right, I can take these. 26 seconds on the clock. I just don't have to press. Red Leaf holding in the ground. Gets the low again, low again, low again. Ah, uh -uh, Team Mob with a kip up. Team Mob is getting tired of these lows. Here we are, Red Leaf backing it up, trying to keep Team Mob corralled in the corner. And now Team Mob's out, 10 seconds on the clock. Team Mob clinches it, or sorry, clinches it at nine seconds, two rounds up. Team Mob standing down, or Red Leaf standing jab back, dash, trying to bait a button. Team Mob didn't give it to him. Red Leaf calling out for one plus two, one. That does go mid high. There is a mid to mid follow up, but the mid mid is unsafe, I believe. Launch punishable. Um, I, believe, I think it's minus 15 if you go for the mid mid block. So it's not safe either way. You're really only safe doing the one plus two, one movement check. And now we're getting launched. We're getting tornado. Wall splat. Goes for the double axe handle. Gets called out. No R or no throw escape. So Team Hop goes for the snake eater on wake up. And. The back heel kick, there's a kip up, go for grabs. Red Leaf not falling for it. Red Leaf gonna back up, standing jab, the clench it, or clutch it out again. Red Leaf very, very clutch, not giving Team Mob any rounds, any openings, any opportunities. Just putting on a Sergey clinic. It's two to nothing, Team Mob versus Red Leaf. Danger, danger, and again, Red Leaf more of a fang main, but 
He said, he, last time I talked to him, he said he's in the middle of a character crisis in that he can't deny how overwhelmingly cheap Dragonoff is. He's not dropping Fang. He said that he's just going to kind of play both characters and see which one gets him the better results. And right now, he's looking solid with both beating Boob with Fang, and then going in here and just freeing up T-Mob with Sergey. You have to know Boob is on the sidelines thinking like, holy shit, like, I, I, I narrowly escaped Fang, but I did not fight this. I wonder what Boob is thinking. Get ready for I wonder the next what Boob battle. sitting on the sidelines is thinking seeing this dragon off gameplay from Red Leaf. I know the rivalry is probably brewing. T-Mob switching to Zafina. Gonna look for some gimmicks and some uh, nonsense. Maybe steal all around from one. Red Leaf. I don't know how effective Fight. that's gonna be. Let's see what he does. Red Leaf moving out of the way. Gets a first flip. Goes for the low, no punish from T-Mob. Gotta make sure you get those. T-Mob answers with some armor, gets some breathing room, and now he's backing up, but he doesn't have a light lead, so he can't stay back for too long. Gets a low, and here's another low, but that gets blown up out while running too. Nice float from Red Lee. It's gonna give him a substantial light lead. Ooh, that Ox Axis! Ox Axis caught him! And it caused the drop, a nice low carry on Wake Up from Red Leaf. Now, oh man, why, dude? That's like the worst idea of the world. There's the wall grab. And that's gonna be all she wrote for Red Leaf. Red Leaf now starting with one round of damage. Goes for a down forward one, goes for the low. Down forward one again. Nice rush down. Red Leaf getting the grab. This isn't gonna give him a throw break yet, but he goes for a double axe handle. Red Leaf gets flipped. There's a launch from the team mob, and now team mob's running. T-Mob in spider stance, looking for Azazel moves, and now he's backing up. T-Mob's like, oh man, I need to get a button. Red Leaf's like, yeah, I'm just gonna wait. Jab, punish, on the kip up. Now T-Mob whipping it in Red Leaf's face. Red Leaf going for some pressure, eats the super. T-Mob gonna get his first big kip. All right, he can come back now. He can make a comeback. He's going into stance. Backing it up very, very fast out of that stance, but cannot block, so we're going to activate Heat. Does Red Leaf, and then we cash out the Heat, giving round two to Red Leaf. Two to nothing over T-Mob. Red Leaf just checking him, saying, don't even go into stance, bro. Don't even go into stance. I know you can't block. Checking him. Same with these down forward ones, these mids. Red Leaf could have been interrupted, but T-Mob respecting. There's some touch, there's some conversions. Going into low stance, and now he's crawling. Ooh, look at that booty, dog. Look at that butt scorpion kick. Looking for a grab. Looking for more. Swipes, slices. There's that low, low mix. Uh -huh. Red Leaf says, I'm going to start now. Forget this. I'm tired of blocking all these lows. T-Mob still evading. Still avoiding. Gets lost. Counter hit. Running to somebody was pressing. Buttons. There's the floor. Oh, the floor break. Red Leaf gets the clip in the heat. Into the heat dash. Doesn't get the wall, though. Now, Red Leaf getting grabbed. Throw escape from Red Leaf. Red Leaf back in it up. Team Mob just throwing out Rando Super. That was, yeah, that was not a good idea. Red Leaf now up three to nothing on Team Mob. What's going to be the play, ladies and gentlemen? What's going to be the play? Is Team Mob going to get freed up from the feet up? Or is he going to do something majestic and magnificent and show the world all kind of beautiful things? Looks like he's going to character select. And T-Mob, he likes to think he has a lot of characters in his repertoire. Red Leaf sticking it out with Sir Gay, and he hasn't conceded a round yet. So, but, but, we'll see what T-Mob pulls out. It is a SoCal Smackdown. Both of these players, well known within the SoCal tournament community. Both of them trying to make a name for themselves in the offline pro scene. T-Mob and Red Leaf, they are not strangers at the all. They are enemies tonight. They are enemies offline and they actually depend they actually defend two different platforms as well. T-Mob being on PlayStation, Red Leaf on PC. Round so one. yeah, there's a lot of implications and a lot of motivations to win. T-Mob going for the Wild Rising. T-Mob backing up. Uh oh, we got a duck. Red Leaf getting along. Here we go. Clip, clip. Drops the wall carry. One, two to punish the kip up. T-Mob now back against the wall. Doesn't really run. Gets in with that wall running too. Now Red Leaf grab. Wake up into the low, T-Mob eating plus, eating plus again, instant while running twos. Out of Red Leaf, T-Mob gets the touch. T-Mob 
Goes into Samurai stance. He's going to wait it out. 30 seconds on the clock. Teemop backing up. Looking for the mid. Catches the mid. Red Leaf looking for that low. Teemop says, uh-uh. I'm going to do a Samurai. Red Leaf catches him with the mid. Teemop backing up. Defense, defense, defense from Teemop. Red Leaf doesn't need to win. A chip, a low uh, poke. Could take it, and he does. It's 17 seconds on the clock. All right. Teemop up around. T or Red Leaf up around. Teemop going for the Samurai. Uh, Red Leaf, while running two, while running two, gets the touch, here's the flow, here's the tornado, here comes the wall, Red Leaf ending it, goes for the double axe handle, and Red Leaf gets hit with the kip up, Team Mom goes for the Samurai, there's the low, Red Leaf getting the launch punish, no tornado on the wall, splat, a little bit misplaced, and now Team Mom gets the, I believe that is the two grab. So Red Leaf eats it down, 4 1, eats these mids. Red Leaf backing up. T Mom tries to answer with some strings of his own. Goes for the E. Bon Appetit. Now he's backing up. Red Leaf, huge light lead. No need to overextend it. T Mom goes for the low. Activation spins it all the light lead. Now he's running. Uh uh. We got the double axe handle. Red Leaf reestablishes the lead. Nine seconds on the clock, and we are running. Are we going for guns? Red Leaf did a duck on uh uh. Blocks the shoulder charge, there's a throw, throw, and escape. Red Leaf whipping buttons, and the time is up. Red Leaf taking it. 22% on the light lead. Red Leaf now to the number one team off. Team off gets the corner hit. We got a touch, we got a launch. Team off, nice conversion. Wall carry, wall splat. What's he do with it? He doesn't do anything. Team off, you got to convert off of those, man. You ain't got a wall combo. All right, here we go. We got a string. Team Mob getting combos on that string. Only combos on a counter hit. Oh, bro, you gotta convert off of those. That's a call. That was a launcher. Here's an explosion. Gimmicks for the win. Team Mob taking his first round of the matchup. Red Bull still up two to nothing. There's a trade. Counter hit. Crumple stun. Team Mob could have converted off that. Not. Very unfortunate getting these combos, getting these launches, but randomly still able to take some wins off of Red Leaf. How is this happening? There's a slice, Red Leaf right in. There's the low, looking for a chop. Red Leaf stringing the low while running two. Gets the blue spark, extra plus frames. Gets the dip up, no punish. Uh uh. Low from Red Leaf taking the last round there, ladies and gentlemen. Red Leaf on the verge. You can't follow the path ahead of you with fear in your heart. They not letting the whole meme play, ladies and gentlemen. It is four to nothing. Someone's about to get freedom, vote. Robbery. Red Leaf needs to make sure he doesn't have that happen to him. Team Mob almost took two rounds. He got one last match. Red Leaf's got to be looking to close this one out. All right, nice punishment from Red Leaf. Keep the stream going. Team Mob getting punished again. Red Leaf now for one. Gets the counter hit from, or gets counter hit by Team Mob. Nice launch. Team Mob dropping the combo. Goes for Amaru, Red Leaf dashing in, look for that low. Explosion, gets the launch, gotta have heat to make that safe. Red Leaf, getting the conversion, lets it go. Dragon off now, corner control base, and Team Mob throws it away, there's a launch. Boom, shot and lock it. No, he dropped it there. Team Mob though, unfortunately, still gets hit with a roll, that gets a wall splat, and the round going in. Two, Red Leaf. Red Leaf up one. There's nothing on Team Mob about to back. Team Mob, excuse me, about to get freedom voted. There's a little bit of a conversion. Red Leaf, severe light deficit. Team Mob does something insane, and Red Leaf makes him pay for it. There's the tornado. Team Mob flipped into the wall. Big damage from Red Leaf. Now Red Leaf doesn't have a life lead. He's gonna get it with this pressure here. No, Team Mob ducking under the high. Team Mob neutral ducking under the high again. Goes for a low, that's launch punishable. There's the tornado. Nice wall splat. And Red Leaf's gonna get the heat or rage or Ooh, that doesn't give him the kill though. Team Mob can still come back. We got heat activated, but he whipped it. Low, mid, soup. Team Mob just gave it away. He, he, he was gonna win. He just had to not do that. Like that was it. That was all he had to do. Now he's getting lost on it. Red Leaf, nice conversion to the tornado. Red Leaf dashing in. It's the relaunch. Hold on, we got a, a drop of the combo. Thank you. 
for the follow, Mini Taco, Mini Taco, one of the offline soul cow sweat lords, welcome to the party, showing up as Red Leaf is about to free up Team Mob, oh hell no, nah. that shit worked, alright, get the... Alright, Team Mom gets the super. He can still come back and shoot up an explosion. I uh -uh, wake up, buddies. There's some dumb shit. Team Mom getting pressured out of that corner, but they're both in the corner. They're going back and forth into the corner. Team Mom looking for grabs. No, looking for a long punish. There's the tornado. Misses the tornado. Team Mom kipping up. One, two, the punish. Low is coming. Low is coming. Here we go. There it is. It was from. T-Mob, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and get our final score. That's right, look at the score, you see what it is. Here we go, final announcement. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pleasure that I announce to you the winner of this contest with a score of five to zero, making him today's two-time, two-time, Two-time Freedom Fighter representing the PC Master Race in SoCal's finest. I'll give you Red Unfortunately, T-Mob's gonna have to go back to the hyperbolic time chamber and think up a different strategy. Red Leaf appears to be his demon, but let's see who's got the dress covered in semen with the fact. Paul is tied. Fuck you guys. No winner in the result of an event of a tie. No sir. Both of them shall be deemed unfashionable. However, congratulations to Red Leaf for the freedom fight and the hype. But there will be no fashion winner today. Ladies and gentlemen, the points are being distributed. The winner of the previous contest with a score of 5 to 0. It is Red Leaf. Let's go to our next contest. Let me pull up the card, people. Let me pull up the card. Oh, put it in the butt, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, so our next contest is Goop Taco doing an open call out. I don't even know who Goop Taco is. Goop Taco, can you please uh, say something in the chat here, sir? Goop Taco, you are up next and I don't know nothing about Goop Taco. So, it is an open call out. Who wants to step to Goop Taco? First come, first served. And Don says, give it to me. Don versus Goop Taco. There it is. I could do that. Goop Taco doesn't have an intro because he's new. And I don't know who if he was going to show up. So I'll make him an intro if he plays today and wins. All right? You got to earn your intro, Pimpin. Let me go ahead and get Don and Goop Taco to please report down to ringside Don and Goop Taco as I set up the polls and all that shit. All right, so make sure, ladies and gentlemen, you get your points ready. Get your points ready for Don versus Goop Taco.
Here we go, invites are out! Goof Taco accepted my friendship! And so he steps into the temple. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, the Trash Talk Temple proudly brings to you motherfucking Tekken Beef! This cup is scheduled for a first to five with a 30 minute time limit. Introducing first arc of is on your right hand, left hand side, representing the PC Master. I'll give you Dawn playing Lee 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 And Dawn will take on Goop Taco So make sure you vote for who you think is gonna win and who is the most passionate Am I the meanest? Sure not! Am I the prettiest? Am I the baddest? No phone, no doubt around this town Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Get ready for the next battle. It's Dawn on your left playing Lee, and Goop Taco on your right playing uh, is that, uh, Misfits Leo. Here we go. We got buttons. Uh oh, we're looking highs. Looking for these highs, Goop. Got an orbital heal. There's the launch in the tornado, and Goop came out with the fire. All right, all right. I'm respecting what I'm seeing here. We're seeing some high level Leo. And Lee, Lee, oh, Lee, oh, low parry with the launch. Nice conversion into a hard knockdown. Looking for mix ups. Oh, wake up. Beautiful sidestep. No punish. Goop with a grab. Touching him with a pink belly. Dashes in. Goes for the low interruption with the heat activation. Sidestep. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Goes for some just frames. Gets a string. Goes to the heat dash. Oh, the low parry. All right, all right, all right. I'm not going to oh shit that yet. I'm not holy shitting that yet. Here we go. We got a spin kick. We got a knockdown. There's the low and Dawn taken. Round one. Clutch, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are. Goop getting off kick. Dawn converting. Dawn, I believe, the actual second place here in second beat. There's a low. Dawn looking for highs. Sidestep, anti-sidestep technology. Didn't find it. All right, Goop. In the stance, grab, LA grab, and there's a uh, cartwheel. Nice sidestep, Don. Beautiful usage of 3D space. Good mix up. Looking for grabs, didn't find them. Clipping, Don. It takes round two. Oh man, this is, this is a sweaty ass match. Nice sidestep, dick jab. Goop playing very, very safe. Ooh, that low parry technology! Alright, Goop, alright. You got them low parries. You got the low parries, and I respect it. Here's a conversion. There's a launch. There's the tornado. Dawn dropping the combo. Not showing a uh, very master race level gameplay. Dawn goes for a backflip. Goes for a string. Low on the flow or on the pickup on wake up. And then a low again on the next wake up to take their second round. Dawn on two to one on Taco. Dawn gets the launch. Goes for the tornado, and then ends it with a 4-4-3, keeps his heat. Nice armor through, flip kick, string, low, and Dawn taking match number one on the debuting Goop Taco. We have yet to see what Goop Taco has in Storm, but we are seeing some pretty solid Leo gameplay out of Goop Taco, so I will at least cop to the admission that I am indeed impressed. Let's see what else we see from Goop Taco. Don't get freed up on your first match. Don't get freed up. Do it for the PC Master Race. Here we are, moving back, backing up, uh -uh, flipping back, cartwheel. Goop eating that while running at three. Another one, uh-uh, Goop says, I will hop kick those. Goop follows it up. Nice conversion, drops the last hit though. And there's the armor check. I believe that is a high armor move from Lu Chao. So make sure you duck those. Goop just going for strings. Gets hop kick. I believe he went for a string and then went for a double low after the string. That was hop kick by uh, Dawn. Now Dawn getting hit by these jabs. Good catch from Goop. Gets the buff activated, but didn't get a tornado on that conversion. There's the low. Spence, whatever that buff was, and now we're going in for more pressure, but Dawn disrespecting and interrupting, getting some breathing room, pushing Goop off on the now, Dawn has- Oh! Oh! 
Oh, all right, I'm holy shit now. That was fucking tight. Whoa, Goop with the defense. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Almost thought Don was going to drop that one and choke there, but that was a good comeback. Don gets hit with the heat out of the armor. And now Goop, two-round deficit. Gets a ballerina kick, tries to check movement, but not getting any more damage. Backing off, taking a defensive position. Realizes they have a life lead. Let's put this in the hands of Don. Got a lot of follow-up. There's a orbital heal. No tornado off of that, but still healthy life lead. Goop needs to just not lose. There's an interrupt. Nice interrupt from Goop. Tried to catch him on. Wake up. We need two big touches from Don. Instead, gets whiff punished. Goop taking their first round. It's two to one. Goop. Get blocking the just frame. Armor's through. No the plus. Right? If Lee does those just frames, we'll note by the blue spark. He's plus on those. And so the proper response is either block, evade the next attack if you know what it is, or outright armor. Armors, though, do lose to Lowe's. Dawn now taking round number two. It is two to zero, ladies and gentlemen. Is who gonna get freed up in their debut contest? We've been seeing freedom fights left and right. Let me look at the uh, card for the day. So far, we have about two freedom fights today. All right, two freedom fights. Oh, we got rolls, we got lows. We got a launch into heat. Where's the tornado? No tornado, no, back two, drops it. Goes for more pressure. There's a check, dash it in. Oh, R. Kelly certified for Dawn. That is one. R. Kelly certification for Dawn, round one as well. Dawn trying to walk, block these uh, anti or try sidestep and block, right? Trying to bait the linearity from Goop, but not looking to punish. Looking to just block some like anti sidestep technology. There's a low, and now Dawn gets the long. Dawn following it up with a tornado. There's the heat dash into the 443. Dashes in with the wild run and three takes round two. Dawn now up two to nothing. And there's a whiff, uh, I'll kick, there's a low. Dawn is just playing, uh, dancing circles around Goop. We're seeing a lot of really strong movement and a lot of good baiting out of Dawn. We saw strong sidestep movement out of Goop, but then Dawn said, all right, you know what, I'm gonna play that game. And now Dawn has been sidestepping circles around Goop Taco. There's the tornado. Here's the activation, Dawn getting clipped. All right, Dawn, look at that Hitman gimmick. Ooh, nice! Low parry, right? That's a low, uh, not, not the universal low parry, but a Leo-specific low parry. Gets the, um, heat, what is that, a heat move? Not a heat, it didn't spend all the heat, but it used the heat bar for that low. It convert big damage off of it. Doesn't matter, Dawn gonna take the next round, putting Dawn up three to nothing against Goop Taco in Goop Taco's opening contest. Goop, bro, you can't get freed up in your first match. You gotta come cool. You gotta come, you gotta come hard, right? You gotta come hard. Don't let Dawn, in the name of the PC Master Race, free up the PlayStation people. Look, dude, look, you got Misfits hair, bro. Oh, no, no, you know what? That's fucking Burton C. Bell from Fear Factory. Yeah, he used to have that haircut. Oh, man. How many of you guys listen to Fear Factory in the chat? I know a lot of y'all don't like the death metal like I do. So, you know, whatever. All right, good conversion. Out of goop. Didn't get a tornado. I don't know if I would call that an optimal conversion. There's a launch. Didn't follow up there. Tried to follow up with a jab. For some reason, couldn't connect. And now goop has a life lead. He needs to not do anything stupid. Okay, it's gone. There's the heat activation on the anti-air. This gives goop. A huge life deficit and round one now going to Don. Fight. Don pressing buttons. Don backing up. Nope, Don is not pressing buttons. Wow, running three. There's a hop kick. An attempt to blow up the low, but it didn't launch. I think it uh, came out as a punish instead of a counter hit. He didn't get the launch. Ooh, buff applied. But Don with a sidestep and a street punch. On the promotion screen. No neutral buff under that high. Don neutral bucking under the high starter from Blue. Goop goes for that low, cashes it out. There goes all the heat. Goop now with a light, uh, light lead. Done. From behind, activates heat. Heat dash, runs in. Looking to check movement, gets the launch. 
This could kill. Right into Super. No, not into Super. Gets the touch. Didn't get the follow up. Float. Big whip punish. No big whip punish. That down floor two is just screaming for us. There's a low into gimmicks. Into more gimmicks. And. Done, gonna take round two. We just saw the low into the stance transition into another low. Gimmicks after gimmicks. And uh, a lot of times we saw Greek Taco get beautiful whip punish opportunities, but not whip punishing with a down four two. Gotta have the down four two ready. Look at how Don has their up four forehand ready. The hop kick ready to punish. You gotta have it, your whip punisher. Uh, Leo, the down four two. Very, very strong. One of the better down four two in the game. Round three. Go into my man's dawn. Are we gonna press X to believe? No, we do not have time to X to believe. It is four to zero, and someone is about to get freedom voted. And you know that Goop is mashing the button. Oh, are we going to character select? Is Goop going to think about this one? No. Nope. Goop says we're going in. We're going in hard, and we're going in raw. We're gonna put it in, they butt, and we're not going to lubricate it. It's gonna hurt, and it may leave a rashy, itchy sensation for at least three to five business days, but never on Sunday. Goop now with a 50% uh, deficit, eat the hob kick, full conversion. There's the tornado, heat activation. There's a raw! Into a 4-4-3, four, four, into a 4-4-3, four, four, heat back, 4-4-3, four, four, check it with these mids. Low, no punish. Into string, nice. Low or high crush, nice. Low parry, we're seeing all these godlike low parries from Goop Taco, but that's where most of Goop's damages come from, and those combos are very, very scaled. Goop needs to get real launchers, and without getting real launchers, it's gonna be a similar fate. Goop down one, and it's game point, set point, match point. It is a Dawn with a winning three. Dawn going for a low Goop with the low parry conversion. Good combo conversion. Look at the damage, though. Very low damage. Goop now getting carried. Here comes the Tornado. There's the Tornado. Into the 4-4-3. Four, four, Good, substantial lead for Dawn. And now Dawn back in the playing safe, sort of, kind of. No, not really. Oh, we see a gimmick. Oh, did we really see a 10? Goop really did a 10, like a Hail Mary 10. Bro, we laugh at those here. We really do. You really shouldn't do that. There's a grab. Pink belly. Goop now has the life beam after a 10 and a pink belly. Does not matter. Dawn getting the heat dash conversion with a life lead. And there's the super bait. Goop going to get launched. No. No. Swinging neck breaker for the KO. Guaranteed. Punish? No, grabs are not guaranteed. We just didn't see a throw right there. All right, so in the gimmicks, we get the heat activation. Looking for highs. High again, trying to brain trap Don. Don on falling for it. Gets the launch. Heat activation. Back two string. Back two. Gets the tornado off of the just frame. And that's going to close out that combo. Wonderful conversion. 4-4-3 four, four, with the heat activation. Back two. One, two. There's the tornado, gets a hard knockdown, looks for a launch, no, interrupt there, oh, okay, we got the heat launch from Goop, Goop now getting converted, nice, doesn't drop the combo, dashes in for more pressure, and nice whip punish, ah, why would you whip punish with that, when you got down forward too, alright, low death territory for Dawn, yep, and there it is, down four, I believe that is down four, two, and actual combo and counter hit. So Goop Taco could interrupt there to steal that round. But now we've got a life deficit and a hop kick to deal with Dawn. Very early dominating lead in round one. Are we going to dash? No, we're going to hold it. Backing up. Look at that whip punish. No, nothing. Go to the plus frames. Gets the knockdown. Well running three. And that is all she wrote. Hold on. Let's update the score. And then... We will certify, ladies and gentlemen. My mind's telling me no! But my body! My body's telling me yes! Oh, it stings. You guys are gonna destroy my throat. Let's get the final announcement, however. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this contest with a score of five to zero, making them Yet again, another freedom fighter. I give you representing the PC Master Race, Dawn. And we're not done yet.
We still have to find out who won the fashion score. Let's see. Your vote matters. Who was most beautiful? Hopefully, Goop didn't get freed up in all aspects. And the fashion vote goes to Don, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations to Don for remaining beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for the next contest. Let's get that card. People, looks like it's an open challenge from Kratos, the only member of the Xbox community in Tekken B. So who's going to step up to Kratos and stomp Xbox into the floor? It's an open call out. I'm looking at Twitch. I'm looking at YouTube. It's going to be first come, first serve. Who wants to destroy the Xbox community? in the name of Tekken B. First come, first serve, ladies and gentlemen. Who thinks they can beat Cra challenge all the fall points are being distributed uh, so who wants to step up and take on the next competitor Kratos from Xbox who wants to take on Kratos And I'm looking at chat. No one step. Oh, T Mob says he wants to step to Kratos. Oh, okay. Toad, are you in the chat? I know Toad said he wanted a match. Toad, are you here? Because I'll put you in. T Mob has already played. Toad said in the chat earlier, I remember seeing it. Uh, Toad, if you want, I can put you up next as well. Because T Mob has played. Otherwise. If he doesn't, if you don't say anything, I'm gonna send in T Mob. Let me see if Toad. I'm gonna uh, DM him. He might be in the chat. Oops. Otherwise, it's gonna be T Mob versus Kratos. But I don't see Kratos online. Kratos, where are you at? Oh, he might be, like, special, right? Where he's, like, looking like he's offline and shit. Where he, like, looks like he's not online. Yeah. Yeah. I know how it works. I know how it works. All right, Toad's not even online. So, I'm going to give it to T-Mob. I'm going to give it to T-Mob, then. No one else is stepping up. To answer the challenge, T-Mob is like, yo, I'm going to get every match I can. I'm going to get every match I can. All right, poll is up. And I'm setting the fashion poll. Alright! 
Okay, invites are out, ladies and gentlemen. T-Mob and Kratos, please step in to the ring. You have been summoned for Tekken B. T-Mob and Kratos, you have been summoned for Tekken B. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, the Trash Talk Temple proudly brings to you Motherfucking Tekken B! This contest is scheduled for a first to five with a 30 minute time limit introducing first our competitors on your left hand side. He is the sole survivor representing the Xbox team by himself. I give you Kratos! a PlayStation character. He is a very confused individual, ladies and gentlemen. And his opponent on your right side, he's looking for redemption. He's been getting cleaned up from the feet up. Let's see if he can bring it on back. I bring you back to the stage, Mr. T-Mob. Let's see what T-Mob has. Again, one Mr. Kratos. As, well, as soon as Mr. Kratos Gets his pork ass up into the ring. Kratos, where are you at, dumbass? Look, chat is like begging for Kratos. I have sent out the invite. I have sent out the invite. He has not answered the call, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure, uh, yeah, yeah, look, look, look. It's already ready already, Kratos. What's going on? What's, what is the, what is the thing? What is the thing? He said he wanted next, man. He said he wanted, he signed up for this time. Let me add him in the Discord. Let me add him in the Discord, at Kratos. Up next, or get DQ'd. T-Mob is in the ring, ready to rock. So whoever wants to step, Kratos, do not embarrass yourself and duck T-Mob. He's lost twice already. I think you can do all right. I believe in you, my man. I believe you can do it, Mr. Kratos. All right, I'm waiting for Kratos to get his bitch ass here in the ring. Get your ass in here. I'm gonna go refill my coffee. Give me five seconds. Where's Kratos at? Yo, did Kratos, is Kratos flaking on us? Man, you a bitch. All right, who else wants to go up next then? I guess it's not Kratos' call out. Let's see, John says he'll fight Doug. All right, we'll throw Jonathan in there. Oh no, he wants to fight Doug Tracks. All right, well, is there anybody that wants to step up to T-Mob? Uh, because uh, Kratos isn't here. And uh, I don't know where he is, so I added him on the Discord, and uh, yeah, I don't know where he's at. I can't invite him en enough. <laughs> I can't invite him enough, apparently. Look, he's offline. He's offline. So, it is, 
whoever wants to step. It's an open call out for anybody that wants to take on T-Mob. Uh, otherwise, we'll move into our next match, which is Don. Uh, oof, I burped. Ugh. Don versus T-Mob, I guess, because T-Mob's the only one that wants to play right now. Anybody else? I'm trying to, uh, no, Jonathan says he'll do it. All right, we'll put Jonathan up. I was trying to give uh, Kratos a chance, man, to get back in here. But uh, I don't see him. So we'll throw in Jonathan. Jonathan versus Team Mob. We could do that. We could do that. We could do all the matches. All right, all right. Let me fix up this shit. And we're going to give Team Mob a bonus point for Jonathan. Or Team Mob. Nah, man. Neither of them signed up for this shit, man. Fucking Kratos no showing is whatever. Both of these guys are stepping up, so we'll do Team Mob and Kratos. Or not Team Mob and Kratos. Team Mob and Jonathan. Sorry, I'm trying to like restart the polls and shit. Go. There's the pole. And there's the invite. Let's go. We got the invite out. We got the pole ready. I'm ready to rock. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Trash Talk Temple proudly brings to you motherfucking Tekken B! This guy's kind of scheduled for a first to five. We're in 30 minute time limit. Introducing first our competitors. On your left hand side, pinch hit me for 30 motherfuckers. I give you Jonathan! That's just his name. He's just John. Okay, and his opponent still looking to redeem himself. I give you T Mob! T Mob! Then getting freed up from the feet up all day. Hopefully he can make it work right now. But who has the freshest gear? Let us know. Here we go, baby. It's T-Mob taking on Johannathan. And we haven't seen a Lars in a while. So let's see what T-Mob does against Jonathan, bringing Lars into the temple. What do we got? All right, Jonathan going for defense, running away. 4 one plus 2 runs in, look for armor. T-Mob blocking. T-Mob gets the heat activation. There's a low block from Jonathan. T-Mob, another low. Jonathan, four, one plus two, and T-Mob, no punish on that whip. There's the four, one plus two. Jonathan goes right into Tornado. Nice conversion, gets hit with a uh, tip up into grab, to grab from Jonathan. Looking for that low T-Mob. Getting hit with the heat activation. Nice whip punish from T-Mob though. Jonathan trying to advance. Here's a super to whip on his team off, pressing in his face. Jonathan, good yeah. Yeah. Here we go, team mob now with a huge Oh, why would you do that? That's like the worst idea of the world. Literally, there are 10 things that you could have done right there that were stupid as fuck, 
And that was number one, Mr. T Mob. There's a low counter hit. T Mob answers with something very smart instead. Here we go, Samurai stance, knock down. T Mob back it up. Looking for a chop. T Mob running with the knife. T Mob, Samurai stance, checks with the mid. There's the knockdown, and now he's running. Looking for the low, gets the counter hit, blowing up the armor. T Mob mashing twos. Samurai stance interrupted, and now John looking for mix up. Mid, low. Looking for grabs, not working. T Mob, nice whip punish. T Mob taking it. Round two. What's up, Tekken Tim? Hey, what's crackling, bro? Tekken Tim, big shout out to the best Steve in the world, baby. Hopefully, we can get Tekken Tim out here again soon. But I hear that he's going to be at some offline tournaments today. So after the stream, you guys feel for some Tekken offline action. Tekken Tim will hopefully be there. All right, Steve, I'm getting a whip for that 4 1 plus 2. And then. Jonathan converting, was that the auto combo? Is Jonathan still doing auto combos? Team up with the grab, side swap. Goes into Samurai stance, Jonathan with the heat activation whip punish. Now Jonathan is really, really committed to the Samurai stance in the heat activation or a heat explosion there. Here comes the super block punish. No, block grab, throw escape, because that's not how you punish things. We're looking for buttons? No, we're not, we're backing up. Tonka, or not Tonka, sorry, hey, what's up Tonka? All right, super. Yeah, that's getting punished. Grab, throw, escape. Why, why do we punish with grabs? What, what, what? Listen, listen. I know I didn't tell y'all to do that. I, I did not teach them. Tim, I did not teach them to punish with grabs. Here's a grab. I believe that is Lamar's command grab. And then he goes for the heat to interrupt the tip up. Then a heat again. And then a one plus two on the plus frame. Lars just so dirty with the pressure. Another command grab. This gives Jonathan one round up on Team Mob, ladies and gentlemen. What's he gonna do, man? What's he gonna do when he comes for you? Team Mob versus Jonathan. Let's see. Tim says, Yo, I'm gonna pay you to do my intros. Bro, I'm doing intros for everybody, man. Everybody that's in the temple that competes gets dope-ass intros. That's just how we operate around here. I'm trying to make y'all shine. Don't nobody want to look at me. Don't nobody want me to be famous. You can pay me, though. I'll take the payment. Look, we got live. Team Mob goes for a samurai. One plus two backing up. Uh-uh, we're looking for buttons. Fly. Oh, look, here's the grab. Team Mob taking grabs. No low escape. Nice one plus two on the tip up. And now Jonathan converting. Is that an auto combo? I can't tell. Team Mob, is he doing auto combos? I heard rumors that Jonathan does auto combos. There's the heat activation. And look, he runs in, running in, coming at you with a whip punch off the heat explosion. Now we're running. Samurai stance, no sidestep. Armor, no sidestep. Low, no sidestep. Both these guys very, very lineacious. Linearocious. Ladies and gentlemen, hey, that move is literal. That move is literal. Here we go, we got a touch, we got a tornado, we got a launch off the one plus two. Not as powerful as it used to be. Nice counter hit from T Mob. Do 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 Finishes it out for a decent touch of damage, and now he's running. T Mob likes to run after he gets a lifely 39 seconds on the clock. T Mob in Samurai stands. No need to press. No need to press. Jonathan running in with the heat activated, spends the heat. Gets the touch, and now he's got a light lead. Now he's running 21 seconds on the clock. There's the forward, one plus two on the whip punish. Tornado, four, four, four. Oh, hold on, there's some lag, and now we're backing up. Grab, no escape from Team Mob. Team Mob crumpled on the floor. Team Mob tips up, we gotta grab. To blow up the armor off. Team Mob now looking for lows. Jonathan just says, no, nah, dude, eight seconds, fuck you. Good, get grabbed. Get grabbed, knee to the chest, and Jonathan taking round two. Pack of 18 at the start. Online scrub lord extraordinaire. Goes for heat immediately in the stance. Trying to check with the high, but Team Mob spins his heat to armor through it. But as far as regenerative health, Team Mob had a little bit of a life deficit. We're looking for whip punishes from Jonathan. Look at that more. One more two. That wasn't a whip punish, that was a counter hit. We heard Victor Chevrolet say dumb shit. There we go. Heat on the trade. Or not heat. Armor on the trade. Armor on the trade again. Team up substantial life deficit. Sega Tim says, no, I need you to follow me around offline and do intros. Oh, hell yeah. Like a hype man? Dude, I could be like your manager. You know what I'm saying? No, we could be like WWE. And I'll wear, because I already wear a funny hat. Right? And I have a megaphone like the fucking, like, dude, like, 
like the mouth of the South, right? I'll be your manager. I'll be like Bill Alfonso. I'll be like, you don't know what's going to happen when you step into the ring with Dickinson. Let me tell you about my client. My client is the best Steve Fox in all of the, the FGC. You're not even a member of the fighting game community if you don't know who Dickinson is. And when Dickinson gets in there, it's going to be frame trap after frame trap. And you're not going to learn about violence. Right? Like fucking straight up, right? <laughs> right now, Jonathan up two to nothing on T Mobile. T Mobile. Oh wait, did T Mob win that one? Did I get mistaken? Is it one? Hold on. Did I mistake that? I was in the middle of promo being myself. Is it one to one? Chat, are you keeping up? Somebody let me know. Right now, T-Mop, no, T-Mop did, he changed characters, yeah, he lost, I got that right, I know what I'm doing, two to nothing T-Mop, switching to Zathana, getting the heat, we don't know how to convert off of those, Jonathan not really having optimization, and T-Mop takes the lead, T-Mop dying before the homies, gets put into a crouch status, there's a low, low again, low again, a low launch, T-Mob, is this a combo? No, it is not. It was, um, it looked like a combo. Nice throw with punish from Jonathan. Jonathan, 34 seconds on the clock. He needs a touch. He's not getting it. There's some Azazel. There's a 41 plus 2 on the whip punish. Jonathan drops his combo. Does not have the execution to finish the job. Jonathan actually whispering in my ear saying, listen, guys, guys, I've been drinking and I'm nervous. This doesn't normally happen. Ladies and gentlemen, he's been drinking and it's cold and he's a little bit nervous. This doesn't usually happen. T-Mob taking round one with some dumbass gimmicks. Here we go. T-Mob gets a low, gets a long tornado, just does a weird combo and now he's running in with a flip. Jonathan trying to play the whip punish game. Whip punish only grabs, not working. T-Mob up around with Zathana. Goes for dumb shit. Flipping around, posing, sweeping. There's a Zazel, plus one, or one plus two, or one plus two from Jonathan. It doesn't mean anything as T-Mob gets the whip punish. Ooh, heat activation from Jonathan. Heels back, got a grab, no escape. Jonathan with his back to the wall, gets the tip up. Ah, it's punished for the heat. Explosion, Jonathan still had a life deficit. There's the super, and that's gonna be all. Alright, Team Mob at a one round tie, or tied up one round to one round against Jonathan. Starts off aggressive, gets a low, gets a combo, and then goes for some flips. And now he's running. 51 seconds on the clock, reactivating heat, no whip on These guys, they just don't react to stuff. They just guess, right? They just guess and read. Right? I made the read! Here we go, we got a launch. Team Mob with a conversion, no tornado. Team Mob's like, yeah, I got the damage, let me run. Here we are, Team Mob up two to one on Jonathan, and Drill Boy says, "What the fuck am I watching? I don't know, bro. I don't know. You didn't step up. I know tomorrow's gonna be sweaty as fuck. Every all the sweaty people are gonna roll up tomorrow and be like, yeah, man, yeah, all free to fight all day. Here we go, Jonathan with a light lead. What's the four one plus two? We got a launch. We got a touch." Nice conversion, likely established, gets a stomp, and now 36 seconds on the clock, runs in with the armor, takes round to two. Team Mob and Jonathan tied two to two. Again, who's gonna take it? Jonathan gets the early lead with the heat action. He doesn't go and use it, just immediately spends it, right? Doesn't try to like take advantage of the chip. He just goes right in, gets the plus frame, nice whip punish. With that forward one plus two, there's another forward one plus two. Kip up from Team Mob. And low, double low, armor. Team Mob going for lows as well. Jonathan backing up. 38 seconds on the clock, and Jonathan gets a whip punish. Jonathan's just gonna wait it out, right? Get in, do something done, and I'll get the forward one plus two whip punish. Look, there's the armor on the interrupt. Team Mob needs a touch. He needs to figure something out. One launch, and he can get it. Oh, one launch, and he can get it. There's a roll in. Team Mob looking for that low. And uh, Zafina, dangerous with those lows, can launch you from lows. Easy peasy, leave the stance. Sorry, Team Mob. Eat the armor. Jonathan now up three to nothing on Team Mob. Team Mob is working hard to get a win today, man. He is like really struggling. Jonathan now up three to nothing on T-Mob. Is this how it ends, T-Mob? You gotta free this man up. 
Get Victor Chevrolet out here, T-Mob. No, he's sticking it out with Zafina. Sticking it out with Zafina. Let's start this. All right, T-Mob. Fight. Three match deficit. Jonathan playing the turtle game. Playing the long game. Backing it up. Gets hit with a low. T-Mob double low. Triple low denied. Oh, quadruple low, but it was actually a triple low because the third low was denied. T-Mob now getting a launch. There's the conversion. T-Mob kipping up. Jonathan backing out. Jonathan now forward. One plus two. There's the conversion there, and now he is backing up again. There's the touch. Jonathan spins the heat on the whip, punish, and he takes round one. T-Mob now trying to advance it. No, Jonathan forward. One plus two. Jonathan dashes in combo. Wombo dashes out. Trying to get a button. T-Mob not giving it. Oh, he gave him the button. No whip punish from Jonathan. All right, Jonathan, what do we do? Hit a rub, but doesn't get a combo. He's trying to play that neutral, right? Back and forward, press a button, I get the one plus two. There's the heat activation. Don't to continue the pressure. T-Mob gets the launch instead. T-Mob now going in advancing in, gets split for one plus two. Jonathan with the launch, finishes out his combo, and now he's backing up. 26 seconds on the clock. Jonathan playing neutral, looking for grabs. Jonathan getting the knock on the floor. T-Mob waiting it out. T-Mob gets the plus range, gets that low, gets the low, launcher gets a life lead, 15 seconds on the clock, and now Jonathan has to go in, oh, T-Mob right in. It is now two to nothing, T-Mob, bro, you gotta get in there, bro, don't be getting blown up, oh, he activated the heat, that's a lot of damage. From Jonathan, Jonathan board, one plus two, gets the launch, converts all the way, big life lead, goes to the low, goes to the low again, armor, blocking, gets clipped, T-Mob steals the R, Kelly and T-Mob now, trying to pick his spot, trying to pick his position, Jonathan doesn't want to overextend, can't block, looking for grabs, why would you grab him when you know he can't block, right, he should go for a combo, T-Mob doing straight, T-Mob getting launches, T-Mob converting, should have gone for super there. That would have at least given him the uh, heat activation and the life lead. Now he's got the life lead and he's in spider stance and that is gonna be. You can't follow the path ahead of you. Fear in your heart. Jin Kazama, believe in your heart and let go of your fear! Here we go, Team Bob going to character select. Swapping out to a character he's probably more familiar with, getting freed up from the feed up. It is four to nothing. You know, T Mob has to be pressing X to believe. Mashing that some bitch, ladies and gentlemen. Mashing on that some bitch. Here we go. It's T Mob versus Jonathan. Chad is saying Jonathan playing on two different accounts. Oh, is Jonathan like Get two different people? Well, somebody needs to win, okay? T-Mob going for Yoshimote. Let's see if he can stop this Lars assault. He's only got one opportunity. That's it. T-Mob versus Jonathan. Here we go. Down back four. Jonathan backing it up. T-Mob eats the heat activation. And now he's going to wait. T-Mob blocking. Blocking, blocking. Interrupt. There's the heat activation. T-Mob has the light lead. Down back four, 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 three. There's a cartwheel into a donkey, no launch. Teemaw, donkey, kick, no launch. There's the launch from Jonathan. Jonathan finishing his combo, stomping on Teemaw, but now Jonathan is sidestepping. Teemaw spends the heat, now he's got the life lead. Now Teemaw waiting it out, there's a cartwheel, looking for grabs. Have a seat, Jonathan. Teemaw with the down back, four, 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 three, and Jonathan not knowing how to deal with that. Teemaw. Clips him in the face with the sword. He activated, looking for grabs. Sword 
on fire. Big touch, spins the heat. And now Jonathan has to come up from behind. Helicopter spins it into armor. There's the conversion, spins it. Not enough damage, though. Team Mob with a life lead, no throw escape, and now Jonathan with the life lead, and the corner, and the low, and the launch, and the low, and the low. Jonathan getting grabs out on screen, take it round two. Team Mob in trouble. This is a very, very precarious position. Team Mob getting the heat activated in his face. Team Mob getting real punished with the heat explosion. Waking up with low threes, and now Team Mob has to think, how is he going to get in? How is he going to open up this monster? How is he going to blow up this idiot? Especially when Jonathan is just getting in the ass. Low into low into low. Team Mob flipping back. There's the interruption. Armor from Jonathan. It's two to nothing. Team Mob this is it. Do or die. Jonathan gets his heat up. Now we gotta watch out. There's the activation. Team Mob, big life deficit. There's a low. 50% life lead from Jonathan. Team Mob needs two big touches. But this is not gonna be the touch he needs. Team Mob getting blown up, people. This down back four, 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 three. And Team Mob's running. 40 seconds on the clock. And that is all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. Make the score. Yep. You see it, guys. I hate to do this, but focus now. The winner of this contest with a score of five to zero. And our, what, fifth freedom fighter of the day. I give you John. Yeah, yeah, he, he's John. He beat Team Mob, and it is unfortunate, but we are not done, ladies and gentlemen. We still need to see who won the results of the fashion poll. Even though Team Mob was ugly in defeat, let's see if he is victorious in beauty. Nobody voted, so nobody gets any fashion points. We do not recognize ties here, ladies and gentlemen. We do not recognize ties. Team Mob versus Jonathan. Jonathan winning five to nothing. Let's go ahead and record the score. All right, the score has been recorded, ladies and gentlemen. Let's move on to card. Here we go. Next up is going to be an open call out. We got Don, who already played, and Doug Trax, who should be playing next, and nobody in the main event. So here's the deal Don, Doug, if you guys are available, I'm going to have you fight each other. Otherwise, it's an open call out. Hey, what's up, ponies? I'm gonna leave it as an open call out right now. Don, Doug, or anyone that wants to step in, I'm gonna take a quick break. I'm gonna get my bowl on, and I will be right back. Open call out city. Don and Doug tracks are next. Who will take them on? Say so in the chat. I'm gonna be right back.
Je m'en charge. charge.
charge.
Alright, man. Intermission's over. Let's get our next contest up on deck. We got Doug and Dawn. Also, Pika's trying to get in. But we'll see. Doug. Is Doug Trax in the chat? Let's see, we clowning that auto combo shit. Yeah, the fuck we are, Xavier. Yeah, the fuck we are. I don't ban it. I don't ban it. Okay? But, it is bitch ass for me. I feel like auto combo... Dude, because at best you're getting like 58 damage, man. I've seen what those do. Doug is here. So, Doug is ready to rock. Dawn is also scheduled right now. Dawn, you want another match? Otherwise, it is an open call out for Doug. Open call out for Doug, unless Dawn shows up, who also signed up for about right now. Um, but Doug is here, so I'm, I'm making sure Doug get they match. Okay, Doug get in they match. All right, all right. Let's see, Pika says I'll fight Doug if does, uh, Dawn doesn't want to. If I'll allow it. Pony says no. Let me see if Dawn is still up. Because Dawn signed up for right now. We're a little bit behind schedule. Oh no, we're at schedule. We're on schedule. Alright, I'm giving Dawn a chance to reply. And I'm gonna send out the invite for Doug, because Doug is here and ready. Is there anyone that wants to step to Doug? Look, Chad is like really mad about Jonathan using auto combos. Then beat his ass! Beat him! He up in here beating everybody else! He up in here beating everybody- holy shit! I just got a dono! Why didn't my alert pop up for the dono? Dude, I just got a hundred dollar donation from Nicholas! Yo! Hey, good looking out! It just popped up right now. Let me do a thing here. Alright, where's the donation button? Right, hold on. We'll do the fucking tip. There it is. Look. Ah! I don't know why it didn't pop up. It just shows on the PayPal right now, but thank you, Mr. Nicholas. I appreciate that the most. Good looking out and uh, keeping uh, getting the dude a whole hundred dollars, man. I'm gonna fucking pay my light bill. I'm fucking appreciating that. Let's see. Y'all don't care about the auto combos. All right, so does anybody want to step to Doug? Don has already said that they will step to Doug. Never mind. Don said they're just in a, uh, a set right now. Don has played once earlier today. But they do have a makeup, so this would clear Dawn and catch Dawn up all the way. So that's kind of hype. Alright, here we go. This is actually gonna be a sick ass match. Holy shit. I didn't expect I didn't expect it to be Doug versus Dawn, but now that it is, I'm fucking hyped for it. Now that I know that it's Doug versus Dawn, I'm fucking here for that shit. Let me get these invites sent out. Let me get the invites ready. Yo, I'm ready for this shit. I'm ready for this shit. Let's see. Buff Raider says, Nicholas, it was supposed to be Buff MK. Oh, man. It didn't say Buff MK. My bad, dude. But I appreciate it, Mr. Buff Raider. Thank you so much for the dono. I'm annoyed that my alert did not go off. That 
that pisses me off because it's supposed to do a chingle, right? It was supposed to be cool, but then it wasn't cool. It was just kind of, you know, regular. You know what I'm saying? This is kind of whack. <laughs> all right, all right, let's get these invites out. We got Doug in here. We are awaiting Dawn. We're going to try and get these invites out to Doug and Dawn. I hope you guys are ready to go. We got the poll ready. We got the poll ready. We got everything ready. We got the names ready. We got the names ready. All right. You ready? Are you? Okay. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, intermission's fucking over. And the Trash Dog Temple proudly brings us to you the one, the only, no bullshit, first of its kind, Tekken Beat! This comes with schedule for a first to five with a 30 minute time limit introducing first our competitors. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, on your left hand side representing the PlayStation Sony Ponies, I give you the fang name, Dog Tracks! And his opponent representing the PC Master Race looking to keep his win streak for the day going. I give you Dog So excellent! Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a hype-ass contest. This is definitely going to be a hype-ass contest. Make sure you vote on who you think has the most. Am I the meanest? Sure. Not. Am I the prettiest? Sure. Am I the baddest? No phone, no dial around this town. Sure. I can't hear you. Sure. Sure. There we go, invites out. I don't know what else to do, I'm running out of memes. Do we have another meme that we could play uh, in the meantime? No, we don't need another meme. Dawn, fresh out of rank, up in here to level up the only rank that matters. Ladies and gentlemen, beef levels. Beef levels must be going sky high. And I burped because I drank a lot of coffee. It is Dawn versus Doug, first to five. We are waiting for the contest to start. Both competitors are in the ring. Make sure you choose who you believe has the freshest gear, okay? We don't allow ties. If you don't vote, then no one wins. And if they just vote for themselves, then they need someone else to vote or they gotta spend their points. Who is fashion champion? is mas importante. Who will be the most fashionable and who will win? Here we go. Get Ladies and gentlemen, boys battle. and girls, Jonathan is over on YouTube saying I can read everything they're saying about me on Twitch and they're just mad I'm winning. All y'all clowning Jonathan. Here we go, monkey flip. Round Let's one. see. Buff Raider says, I just saw a tweet from my local rock station. Apparently today in history is when Kurt Cobain painted his ceiling. Wow. And that's like, that's like three days before the eclipse when Jesus is going to come back, right? I hope he comes back during this eclipse. I'm tired of you clown bitches, right? <laughs> we need Jesus, people. Don't lie. You'd rather hang out with Jesus than hang out with me. Here we go, Doug with a knockdown, Doug with a low, Doug with a scorpion kick, we got a dash off of the heat, Dawn trying to keep the pressure going, Doug interrupted, that move has high crush property, so you always gotta watch, check in with jabs, nice throw escape from Doug, nice one, two, check, Doug taking the round one, Fight. Chad is saying, wait, so he's reading this, but he ain't talking, yeah, Jonathan is reading this, but he ain't talking. He's talking on YouTube. You can chat with him. I'm running the stream on both sides. You can tell him he sucks over there. I, I allow him to do whatever the fuck he wants. You need to just do the Look. Oh, my mind's telling me no. Buff Raider said, we had an earthquake in Jersey today. I'm ready for it to all be over. Right? Nah, but the eclipse is going to be in Texas. Right? I've been reading all the conspiracy shit on that eclipse. It's pretty wild. 
I'm like, whoa. If there was ever an argument that Jesus was coming back, they have a strong one for that eclipse. Oh, nice wall break from Dawn. There's a tornado back to him straight. Oh, he missed the perfect. He missed the perfect. Pony's in the chat saying, I'm in Austin. Oh, he in the path of totality. Hey, ponies. Hey, I know you would rather hang out with the Jesus than hang out with us. But if you do indeed see Jesus during the uh, the, the eclipse of the apocalypse, uh, can you let me know? Right? Can you be like, hey, Badger, Jesus, uh, on your six. Jesus at 10 o'clock. Be prepared. Stop jerking off. Stop jerking off to Asian threesomes. The Lord is coming. Right? Here we go. Dawn, going for that heat, or going for the armor. There's the heat activation. Low, dashing in, grab Doug with the throw escape Doug. Life deficit, but he's up and around. Goes for the stop. There's the grab. Do, 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 do. Doug now has the life lead. Down back three. We're looking for a hop kick. Nah, watch the high. Watch the high. Low makes Doug taking round one. Their names are backwards, so let me give these guys a side swaption. Side swap them all. Let's see. Buff Braden is saying, you notice that Jonathan is in the chat. Or no, Buff Braden says, I saw the Eclipse in 2017, bunch of dumbasses. Yeah, here's my deal on like crazy conspiracy shit, okay? It doesn't matter what you believe. All that matters is what other people believe. Cause like, even if you don't believe that Jesus is coming, there's some crazy motherfuckers that do, and it's hard to know what those people are gonna do about it. So that's why I say like, it's not about what you believe. It's about making sure you know what everyone else believes and then being prepared for it. Doug eating a whole fucking wall combo and losing 75% and then another wall break. Dawn must be mad to be losing. It is now one to nothing. Dawn, very, very sweaty touchdown. Here we go, Dawn. Looking for that launch, doesn't get it. Goes to the low, Doug gets the counter hit launch. Doug looking for lows again. Blocking the pressure, Doug backing up. Allows Dawn to get more pressure out and the heat. There's the launch. There's the immediate tornado, but drops the conversion. Dawn does not block the uh, launch punishable up kick from Dust. That up kick, I find, is like one of those punishable moves that like you almost never see people punish, right? Like Fang seem to try to get away with that one, like like it's nothing. Here's a knockdown. We got a down back three. Hold on, we're looking for buttons. We got a just frame from Dawn, knockdown, Doug, nice whip punish, Doug looking for grabs, Dawn looking for jabs, Doug hop kick, no punish, Hitman low, and then more pressure, Doug goes to the high, oh, flip kick to blow up the down back three, there's another down back three, there's a scorpion kick, Doug with a stomp, Doug keeping the pressure going, uh-uh, e-hole, homie, Dawn with the 4 4 three. E dash, gets the launch, nice wall the wall conversion, oh, I'm, I'm holy shit in that. I'm holy shit in that one, ladies and gentlemen. Dawn catching it up one to one, and that was hype. That was a fucking clean ass carry, ladies and gentlemen. Clean carry. It's now tied one to one. Dawn on Doug. Let me fix these names. Why I always move the names where I don't like them? I like them. You know what I'm saying? I like my names. Move my names in close, right? I like my names tight like a frog's ass. Everybody sits there and is like, what do you mean tight like a frog's ass? Like you ever been in a frog's ass? It's tiny! Alright, heat activation from Dawn. Jab, grab, throw his kick to Doug. Doug says, armor that bitch. Whoa! Doug gets hot kicks. Up forward four. There's the wall splat. Boom, wall break. Didn't even get the tornado yet, right? There's the tornado. Heat dash forward four three. Into a wild running three. Into a down three. Hitman stance. Dawn taking round one. Doug gets the strings out more. Lows in the hitman. No punish from Doug. Doug eating some pressure. Interrupts the uh, pressure with a back one counter hit, but didn't get a follow up. I think he gets a shoulder charge guaranteed there. There's a now back three counter hit. Got the knockdown into back turn. Got the low off a back turn. And now Doug pressing his advantage with that high. No throw escape from Doug. No, ooh, no whip punishes either. e -hole. That got the launch. There's the tornado. Back to into the wall splat. Into, oh, that was a reset. Doug trying to tech up. And oh shit, my shit fell. Oh, my brain spray. You bitches. Uh, uh, look, my house is fucked up. <laughs>
Damn, that shit would make my I didn't even touch it. Whatever. Y'all spawn my sprinkly ass front door or back door, whatever door. I don't know, my room door. I forget. I'm in the middle of Tekken mode. And Dawn right now trying to catch it up with a grab. Dawn gets blown up. Ooh, nice conversion. Doug should have went for a tornado. That would have secured the win. Making sure my green screen don't move, man. My house is haunted, dude. I'm telling you my house is haunted. Demons. I was accosted by demons the other day. Here we go. We got buttons. Into a flip kick. Jump. Doug. Execution error. Nice good punish from Dawn with a magic four. But uh, no, no, uh, no launch on that magic four anymore. That is a thing of the past. Doug misses the guaranteed. Uh, I believe down one plus two. The shoulder charge from a thing. Nice. e hole with punish. Here we are going into dumb shit. There's the punish in the low off the hop kick. Didn't punish the hop kick. Normally could have jabbed them and got a float, but went for a low on the landing. And now Dawn about to get flipped with a low. A low's gonna win it. Doug waking up in the mids. Dawn gonna take their second win. It is now two to one in this first of five, ladies and gentlemen. All right, what is, let me see what Chad is saying. Let them drink their poison Kool-Aid. Ha! Damn, homeboy's looking for David Caresses. Doug's looking for stomps. And Dawn eating those lows. There's a scorpion kid, Doug moving in. Doug, no punish on that flip kick. I think that flip kick is at least jab punishable. Nice, stay looking for lows. Doug with the hop kick, gets the tornado, rebound, shoulder, breaks the wall, shoulder again. No heat activation, Doug gonna sit on it. Hop kick, no punish. There's a hitman stance mix up. Standing four, or is that forward four? I believe that's forward four. Oh, nice. Plus frames into the frame trap. Dawn gonna convert here. Nice wall break into the super. Oh, I thought it went end of rage art there. Might as well use it. Oh, I like how he's mixing them up with that spin kick into the low. Doug falling for a lot this match. And so now Dawn taking round one. Nice way. Kempo stands to blow up the hop kick. Didn't get as much damage as he could have. Oh, the E-Hole was denied. There's a hop kick. No punish. Tried to go for a standing two. I don't know a standing two. Oh no, that was a back two. I don't think back two punishes hop kick. All right, there's some plus frames. Nice sway out of Doug. He says, all right, man. I don't have to respect your plus frames. Ooh, heat move out of Dawn. Doug says, I hop kick anyway. Doug taking a scorpion kick victory for round two. We were tied one to one. Doug versus uh, Dawn. Dawn playing Lee. Doug eating heat activation. Dawn pressure back up. All right, into the low. No, Doug looking for the sway now after that spin kick. Here we are. We have the draft. This gives Doug the light lead. That low cements it. Now Doug's taking a defensive position. Tried to Sabaki. Got hit with a kick. I believe that Sabaki only stops highs and uh, punches. But I could be wrong. Might have just been late in the Sabaki for the punish. That gave him a wall carry, but Doug now getting out of that wall. Here's a nice conversion. Doug sliding in, gets that really delayed slide into the low. Doug checking him with a mid and taking round two for himself with his one to two. Doug on Dawn. Dawn with a knockdown. Gets the guaranteed damage. Goes into the flip kick. Dawn tried to interrupt. Nice catch from Dawn. Into the low, into another low. Into my mind is telling me no. Dawn, R. Kelly certified, ladies and gentlemen. R. Kelly certified. One time we can confirm. Here we go. Doug with the scorpion tail. Dawn tries to clap down. Looking for grabs. Gets the grab. Doug is angry. Right? He is infuriated. Oh! R. Kelly the other way. Ladies and gentlemen, Doug taking it and tying it up. My mind's telling me no! But my bad side, <laughs> two to two, R. Kelly for R. Kelly. Never have we seen an R. Kelly return with an R. Kelly. All right, Doug says I'm evil. Dawn says four three. All right, and then he gets a knockdown into a flip kick. Goes for a spin kick into that low. I told you, gotta watch that low. Hit that stand low again. And now we got a heat activation wall splat. This is gonna hurt. He hasn't even gotten the tornado yet. Boom. But oh, he missed it. And he got the just frame jingle. Dropping just frame jingleness. Don clipping Doug with the low, taking round one.
fight. Here we go. Dom with the spin kick knocked down. Gets the float with the low into Tornado. Knocked down into a cartwheel. Uh-uh. Doug says armor this. Gets the uh, attack throw. Counter hit attack throw. But Doug still eating a nasty combo here. There's an e hole And now Dawn has the light lead. Hitman stands. No punish for Doug. Don't you the grab. Doug is going to get better corner. No, he doesn't get corner position. Usually you get a side swap on that grab. Doug Scorpion Tail into the mid. There is a high follow up. And that's what Dawn keeps looking for. Dawn getting grabbed. Doug tying it up. It's round three. Fight. All right, Doug, blocking the standard four. There's a jingle. Doug pressing on the plus frames. Eats a nice guaranteed combo out of Dawn. Ooh, but Doug says blow up armor. Nice read from Doug. Doug two lows, and then a mid, and now hop kick. He caught it up. However, the armor to interrupt the pressure. Doug, big life deficit is going to kill. Yeah, that's all she wrote. Two rounds now. Four Dawn on Doug, two to one. Here we go, we got a spin kick. Low, low for low, Dawn getting a low. Doug looking for hop kick. Doug not finding hop kicks, we got how armor. Oh, the Sabaki! Yo, not often do you see a Sabaki on a character who does Sabakis. Doug's gotta be mad getting Sabaki like that. Look at this conversion into the wall, into a wall break. No way to really follow it up. Too much damage scaling to get that 4-4-3 to end it. But Don now going to shut it down. Looking for that heat or that armor. Doug, however, gets that low on counter hit. Here's a grab, Doug. One touch away and we're in this game. We're right in. There we go. What did I say? One touch and we're in it. There's the super of Doug Blocks. He punishes. Oh! Give And with that, Don takes the lead. It is three to two. Holy shit. The hype is real in this contest, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. We're flexing. Round one. All right, buttons. Fight. Don getting swayed on. Into Kempo stance. Into heat activation. Into grab. Doug is on fire right now. There's the low counter hit. Caught the button. Goes for the stomp. Doug. Sit here blocking the pressure, Air Tatsu goes for the stomp, there's the low, nice! Doug, two time, ah, Kelly certified in this contest so far. Don sitting on one, Don getting the conversion, wall control, loses it, Doug now has better wall positioning. Don has the pressure, gets the knockdown, guaranteed damage, fight it again, he activation, Don gets the pressure, the mix, the low, and round two. Tied up to uh, round one to one, Doug on Don, and we saw the Kempo, and then Don just says, ha ha, ha. don't try to sway me, Doug gets the launch off the counter, hit sweep, there's the wall splat, good conversion, Doug to the low again, knocked down to the scorpion tail, stomp, huge life lead from Doug, Don trying to fight his way through this corner, trying to set up some plus frame, got a counter hit touch. Here comes the E-Hole into the plus frame. Dog fell for the trap. Frame trap, Don taking round two. Beautifully, excellently played. Doug needed the armor to get out of that. There's a hop kick, Don with the armor. Don with the low, keeps the pressure going. Keeps the stance going off the plus frames on the just frame. Don taking, uh-oh. No! Oh, no, -uh. bro, dude, did the servers just die? What? Hold on, I'm gonna restart the game. I gotta restart the game. Are you guys offline as well? What the fuck? Kratos says, yo, I just got off, sorry, message, can I still play? Yeah, if you want to get on, you tardy motherfucker, if the servers didn't just die. What the fuck? I'm restarting the game, guys. I'm Doug and Don, are you guys still up? Is the stream still going? I mean, I'm getting Kratos' message. Bro, did this shit just die? Oh, I'm fucking mad. You're playing online right now? Okay, maybe it's just me. Maybe I got disconnected. Let's see what's going on.
Let's see what's up. Damn, bro. Now I'm sad. I'm like all sad, bro. That match was hype, dude. That shit was fucking putting it down. I'm fucking salty, dude. I'm salty as fuck. Man. That depresses me. Alright. Alright, let's get these invites back out. Doug and Don. It is three to two. Hopefully they can get back in. I don't know what happened, but it depressed me. Hopefully we can recover, ladies and gentlemen. Recover. Okay? Recover and get back in the ring. That's what we do. When we get knocked down, we don't stay down. We call them a bitch ass, and then we dust ourselves off, and then we get punched in the face for talking shit when we're losing. That's just how it works, all right? Don says, okay, so motherfucker can leave in the middle of the game. I don't think Doug left in the middle of the game. I got a disconnect, man. Doug's in the lobby right now. If Doug was trying to, like, do some ornery shit, nah, dude. I don't think Doug rage quit. I'm gonna be honest, Don. Doug didn't rage quit. I think just the servers took a shit. Doug's not that kind of dude, man. Doug wouldn't rage quit like that. He wouldn't rage quit. Doug is like, he's like noble. You know what I'm saying? Like, Doug Trax is honorable. He's actually probably insulted that you even entertained the thought that he rage quit. He's probably mad now over that. He's like hot. Like, nah, -uh, man. Doug's probably folding his arms like, nah, man, fuck you, dog. It was Badger's internet. That's probably what he's thinking. Fuck you, man. That was Badger's internet, bitch ass. Let's see. Doug says, I joined SoCal Invite. See? See? Doug is like, I ain't. See? That's what I'm saying. He's like noble and honorable. Right? I'm going to start calling Doug the noble steed. Right? The white horse. Doug is the white horse, man. He's the hero. He's the hero we don't deserve. He Get fights. Doug battle. fights with honor and, and he's chaste as well. Right? Doug, do you, do you go out porking rando bitches? No. He's honorable and righteous. Dude, I bet you, Doug, he plays uh, RPGs, and he always rolls Paladin. Pal Dude, Doug seems like, you know, one-handed Mason Shield build, bro. Straight Paladin, right? There's a down back three. No, Doug, trying to interrupt pressure. Crusher gets grabbed for it. Doug with the knockdown. What are we doing? Down on the low. Here we are. Armor. Armor gets blown up in mode. Doug's keeping that in mind. There's a hop kick. No fun as Doug going for that high string. Catches it. Inter or no, no interruption. Heat dash goes for the front there. Doug goes to the low, gets the counter, and he's like, yo, I know you can't get me on that. That's not a setup. Get out of here with that. And instead, Doug does a different setup. Gets round one. Doug says, I gotta make up a lost time on this motherfucker. Dawn backing it up. Dawn always rocking the violent costume. I like that. I gotta respect it. You know what I'm saying? That's how you know a real Lee Chow Lon player is if they rock the violet thing. Because only real Lee Chow Lons rock violet. There's the low into the grab. Nice mix up into a throw break from Doug. There's the low. Oh, we got the sweep. Tag lands with the bits. There we go. Imperius still was tackling. We are in the middle of the hype. We got to reposition and readjust. But I want to give a shout out for the bits. Thank you. Doug with a throw escape taken. Round two. Nice, solid. Solid patience from Doug Trax. Doug Trax is like, oh, wait it out. Checks the movement from Don. Don going for gimmicks, gets the launch though. Don now big substantial life lead. Kip up, or not kip up, that is the uh, Chinese get up from Doug. However, Don's pressure is just so on point. Nice guarantee damage from Doug. Doug's gonna block the e hole -A. Doug backing up, looking for that back three, I believe that is. Hold on. Doug going for an O show. Gets blown up with a forward, forward three. Whip punish, heat dash, and that is all she wrote for Dawn. Dawn goes for the heat. Goes for the launch into e hole -A. Converts, tornado. Ah, uh -uh, doop, doop. Boom, there's the tornado off the jingle. Blue spark just frame into a wild run three all wake up. Hold on. Nice sidestep from Doug. Sidestep into the low. Gets the launch on counter hit. Dashes in. Checks with the high. Gets the low into Scorpion Tail. And just like that, Doug has the lead. And just like that, Doug loses the lead. 
And just like that, Dawn is going to take the round. It is now 4 to 2. Marvelous! Dawn over Doug, 4 to 2. Let's see if Doug can bring it back around and salvage this set, but it's not looking good for him right now. Dawn on game point, set point, match point, death point. Let's see what we got. Doug taking it back to character select and waiting it out. Doug, hold on, he said the fuck you mean, it's five to two. Oh, is it five to two? Did I fucking miss a round? Did I? Oh, okay, then it's five to two. All right, then, well, then I guess that's it. Good shit, then. How did I miss a round? I'm gonna have to go back and watch the replay. You guys keep better score your matches than I do. I missed a round, I am stupid, sir. Okay, well then, fine. Fine, let me do the thing then. Hold on, let me do the thing. Don't don't go nowhere. Don't go anywhere. I got DC'd and we kept playing. Oh, that don't count though. We don't count it if it got DC'd. All right, well, I already left the lobby and you guys quit the match, so I guess we'll, we'll count that one then. Well, if it's not on stream, we don't count it. We'll just allow it this time because on account of, you know, uh, yeah. It's already too late and I left the lobby. I was like, wait, when did I miss a match? We don't count it if it doesn't happen on the stream. We just call it a wash um, if you get DC'd. But it's all good. It's all good, Don. We'll call it there. The winner of this contest with a score of five to two. Meme isn't sized right. Here we go. You fucking win, Don. Let's find out who was the fashion winner, ladies and gentlemen. And the fashion point also going to Don, ladies and gentlemen. We will go ahead and record this for prosperity. Doug Tracks. Had a strong showing, but unfortunately, Don was just too overwhelming as we go into this contest, which we don't have anything scheduled. It was Don and Doug. They were the only ones that signed up. Don said they're going to sleep now. Good night, Don. Thanks for stopping in. Um, and there is like no one else signed up. So, um... Uh, if there is anyone that wants to sign up, there is an open spot right now. Open call out for anybody. This would probably be the main event because I imagine it's going to take me 20 minutes to rustle up some players. Oh yeah, Kratos says he could get up. So Kratos, up on deck first. Who wants to step to Kratos' tardy ass, ladies and gentlemen? Who wants to step to Kratos' tardy ass? and stomp Team Xbox into the dirt. Mm. Ah, such sweet, sweet coffee. Let me fit. get the poll at least started. Open call out. Anyone want to step up to Kratos? If you want to be famous, now is your chance. You know what? I'm going to go and pee real quick. While you guys sort out in the chat, because I know it's delayed. So you got like 10 seconds. Who wants to step up and take on Kratos in an open call?
My bad. I was saying, who wants to step to Kratos? And I look, and it's just Pika. So fuck it! Let's make that the main event. Nobody else wants to step up. Nobody else has Tekken beef to sort out. I know that usually Saturday is the bigger day than uh, Friday. So I imagine a lot more people are going to play tomorrow. And that's fine. We'll just call this the main event then. This match is going to be toxic as fuck, because I know Kratos talks mad shit. I know he talks all the shit, bro. And like, Pika? Yeah, this is going to be wild, man. This is going to be... This is going to be nuttier than squirrel shit, ladies and gentlemen. Nuttier than squirrel shit. Wilder than a bag of monkeys. I, I don't even know how I'm going to commentate this. This is going to be um, quite absurd, ladies and gentlemen. Let me get all the stuff ready. Let me get all the things prepared. Pika and Kratos, please report down to ringside. Pika and Kratos, please report down to ringside for our next contest. I got the poles set. That set, let's get these invites crackly. Oh, are you guys ready? This is gonna be wild. It's time for the ma This contest is our evening's scheduled main event and is an inter-platform contest. First, our first challenger, representing Team Xbox and maining martial law, I give you Kratos, tardy motherfucker. And his opponent, representing PlayStation, I give you Pika! Make sure you pick who has the best gear as well. There's gotta be one winner in the fact. Make sure you go and vote for who you think has the best the fit. Right now, it is Kratos and Pika in our main event. It might be our main event. They're the only ones that stepped up. And Pika, now with his vampire lolly, Kratos, default law. Pika dashing in. Pika, is this going to be your first win in the main event? Kratos got the counter hit launch. Now carrying Pika into the corner, drops the combo, but still catches Pika at the end. Jump kick and then blocks Pika's pressure. There's the armor. Goes for the nun trap into the slide and Kratos taking round one. Kratos up one to nothing on Pika. One, two, three. Kratos uses the plus range to get the launch. Pika splatting against the wall. Kratos, huge fight for Pika. Gets the tornado, goes for the heat activation, doesn't work. Kratos instead gets his, and then Pika just waking up with two for four. Spin into a ballerina, back turn, Kratos blocking. Sway attempted, Kratos, 32, one, two, one, two, one. 
Jack for the win. Kratos taking round two. And whoa, is this going to be quick? Kratos blocks one plus two. Blocks this way. Down one, or down two. From Kratos gets the wild rising two. And the launch drops the follow up. Doesn't get the tornado. Pika flipping over and getting the point. Hold on. Pika with the low. Pika down four. Pika wild rising four. And then Kratos with a touch. Pika. Gets the flip, and Pika looking for the knockdown. Pika about to get his first round. Look at for that low. Watch out for the tree. Kratos getting wild rising forward, and Pika gets his first round. I can't believe I seen Pika. All right, Pika, four, one, one, two. Look for the uh, look for that sway. Didn't catch it. And now getting the corner carried. Kratos with the forward, forward, three to end it. However, Pika waking up with the three plus four. Kratos with the launch. Kratos back to two. There's the tornado four. Two, one, and three breaks the wall. Kratos activates into the stop. Has the life lead with a huge amount of heat available. So he's going to chip the crap out of Pika. we got to be ready for this rush down. Pika rushing down himself. Going the back turn. Makes got the wild rising. Goes for the armor. And Kratos still interrupting. Catching Pika and taking round one. It is one to nothing. Pika over Kratos. Kratos stomping on Team PlayStation by himself. The only member of Team Xbox. I don't know where Red Fed is, the other Xbox player in Tekken B. But yeah, Kratos, number one on Xbox and stomping the PlayStation community. Here we go, we got a grab. Kratos takes the grab and backs up. Nice whip punish from Kratos. This is a double nunchuck. Pika. Side roll into the wake up three plus four wins the roll, uh, while rising three plus four. And then Pika just unga bunga nonsense. Put Kratos in a crouching position. Kratos took advantage of that, got that wild rising counter hit launch. Took them all the way off the balcony into the floor. There's a slide, and just like that. One touch and then a good read on a low, and then an OP, and Kratos wins the round. Kratos hitting the grab, there's the ground break off the ground. Kratos drops the follow up there. There's a down four two though. And there's our tornado into the wall, doesn't get the wall explosion. Kratos needs to wake up from Pika. Pika trying to keep his pressure going, mashing, but Kratos gets that uh, punch out, but he didn't get the counter hit. There's that counter hit launch. There's a launch there. While rising counter hit off Pika. Eating two round deficits to Kratos. Kratos back it up. Nice whip punish from Kratos. Whip punish from the cannon drill. He's now have a recovered on wake up. Now Kratos. Starts the pressure, gets the gun shot. There's the wall explosion. After the tornado, back to 18. 3 4, lets it go. Dash is in the low, and that is all she wrote. Kratos now up 2 to nothing in the name of the Xbox community. Pico in. Pika's in trouble. Pika. Wake up, bro. Focus. All right, this shit is getting dangerous. Kratos up two to nothing on Pika. Pika looking about getting freedom, folks. What kind of gimmicks do you have, Pika? What kind of gimmicks is round one? Two to nothing, Kratos. Kratos locking it up, needs a cran and drill. Kratos tips up, goes for the low. Pika side rolling it. He goes for pressure of his own. However, Kratos punishing. Ooh, doesn't get the right follow up. There's a wall splat, doesn't get the tornado. Instead, just going for optimal wall damage. Ooh, there's a tornado there. 434 DSS flying kick. Pika's gonna get the super. Ah, uh ah, -uh, denied. Didn't have the health to survive the armor blast from Kratos. Kratos gonna get round one. Kratos going with the plus frames, trying to set up that counter hit. Gets the launch anyways, but he couldn't tornado there. Pika at almost 50% health behind. Take down two. All right, Kratos gets that wall rising launch. Kratos, tornado, back to two. There it is. Three, four, flying kick on the wall flat. Nice conversion there. He knew the four, three. So I said three, four, but four, three was gonna splat on the wall right into DSS. What dragon kick? Good understanding of his position. He that last hit. All right, now Pika has a light sweep. Two flight sweep. Kratos though has the launch. Here's the back two, two. DSS drops it. Had the just frame. DSS three. Goes for the heat. Back to two. Pika with it in his face. There's a nice shot. Gets the launch. Kratos has the advantage. Pika dumb shit. That's getting lost. And that is it for Kratos now. Three to nothing. 
on Pika. Pika needs to step it up or be freedom vote in the main event, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Let's see, Coleslaw says, I don't know why, but the gear calls are always broken for me. I can't interact. Really? A lot of people have always said that they have a hard time voting in the polls. Round and, uh, yeah, that is kind of annoying. Fight. Here we go, Pico with the back three. He goes to the low. While rising, checks move. It gets the heat activated. And activates with the mix-up. Gets the mid off the mix-up. Checks movement down four. Nah, Kratos just a raw into that launcher. Kratos coast to coast, getting out of the corner, and then gets the corner, and now he's backing up. Ooh, nice check. Right, he sidestepped into the corner to bait Pika. He knew bait Pika was going to try to roll out of the corner, so he put himself into the corner to better position himself to blow up Pika, and then he did. Yeah, that was pretty, uh, pretty solid neutral call out there. Enjoy Alright, Cole, or not Pete Coleslaw. I got him mixed up. Kratos, Coleslaw's in the chat. Right, Kratos, one round up, but Pika, he's likely, okay, that ends here. Kratos gonna convert for at least like 70 damage. No, he drops it. Nice knockdown. Now Kratos has a life lead. Pika needs to steal it. There's the sway. Just a little bit predictable with that forward one plus two into the sway. Kratos falling for it anyways. There's the wall flat. There's a low. Kratos checking movement side roll. With that tracking move gets the hit. Pika losing round two. Kratos up. Kratos gets the noogie. And Pika gets up in the nunchucks. He got launched. Kratos goes for the heat. Kratos, 4-3, in to DSS, doesn't get the follow-up. Pika with a grab. Pika needs a round. He needs a round to stay in this. Look at that punch there. Pika not giving it to him. Spin the B. Now Kratos, huge life lead. Pika's going to whiff some dumb shit. Kratos going to punish, and no. No punish from Kratos. However, Kratos securing the round. Pika needs to press that. Look, Pika didn't even allow the whole meme to play, ladies and gentlemen. So here we go. Pika about to get freed up. Kratos showing us a clock limit. There's an unshot for the tornado into DSS3. Pika wakes up with buttons anyways. Pika flipping around, puts himself in the corner. Kratos takes advantage. Pika waking up, goes to the armor, down four. Pika with a slide. Pika, nice split kick, goes to the low. Pika checking, and a down four for the win. Pika gets around, weird, right? Kratos gets a launch, no follow-up. Pika gets a launch, bad follow-up. All right, here we go, split kick, Pika, one, two, uh -uh. Sway, catches Kratos, Kratos, eats alone, there's an out four, two, Kratos gonna convert here, into, oh no, he gets the tornado, trying to get a coast to coast, trying to get that wall reestablished, does not get it, Pika goes for the armor, Kratos goes for the armor as well, Pika waking up with that three plus four, gets wake up gimmicks, back three into a cannon drill, up, or no, down three plus four, no punish, Pika gets the touch, Kratos concedes round two, Pika is like winning. I can't believe this. Pika, 4, 1 plus 2. Go over the sway. Kratos keeps it low. Pika into a fart wheel. 4, 1 plus 2 sway. Kratos falling for it again. Pika gets the wall established. Kratos with a knockdown. Kratos with the nunchucks. Kratos gets the jump kick. Heat established. What's the mix up? Grab. We got the lock. Those just got nerfed. They are easier to break. There's the back 2 1. Kratos post the post. Nice wall carry. Kratos taking round 1, ladies and gentlemen. Or his first round, it is one to two. Pika in charge. Kratos trying to interrupt Pika with the lawn. Pika with a two hit combo. That was not what he was supposed to do, but that was better than nothing. I like to see it. Pika cartwheeling, somersaulting, tumbling, not getting anything out of it. Kratos tries to interrupt the armor. Pika gets a knockdown. Rip punish from Kratos. Activates he. Kratos tried to find it or launch. Pika one low away from taking it. Kratos getting blown up, and I can't believe it. Pika got a point. Pika got a rando point on Kratos. Kratos, dude, you you, you just got you just lost one to Pika, like for real.
Is Pika downloading you and he doesn't even have combos? Is he downloading and he doesn't even have combos? Kratos is in the chat saying, uh, what am I doing? Yeah, what are you doing? Kratos, now on the board, it's four to one. Pika could, uh, if Pika wins this, Kratos, if Pika wins this, dude, that means all of Xbox is worse than Pika. Nice punch there from Kratos. Double nunchuck, Pika clips out and then goes for the split kick. Dash it in, there's another flip kick. Back turn, mid, Pika with the low. Pika again going for the mix. There's the one plus two. Gets the sway, gets the knockdown, has the corner, Pika with the low. Low again, that was Kratos in the top opportunity to launch. Pika pushing out of turn, Kratos needs to win. Kratos is not going to win. Ladies and gentlemen, Pika taking round one. I don't know what Kratos is thinking. Kratos activates heat, goes for the pressure, Pika sways through, Pika catching it up, here's the split kick, flip kick, Pika dashes in, goes for the sway, doesn't get it, we got a load of ball of heat, Pika wakes up with a load, Pika with a somersault, 4 1 plus 2, sway, that's going to get launched, Kratos, let's see what he does to convert, Tornado, into 4 4 3, Pika rolling through with a side swap, Pika with a somersault, Kratos with a punish, there's the grab, Pika throw, escape! Pika with a sway, Pika dashing and going for the low. Pika waking up with a low, Pika with a low. While rising goes for the armor, Kratos is gonna punish the armor to take round one, but that was closer than it needed to be. Kratos on game point, match point, set point, death point, match, right? Kratos, if he wins this, he's freeing up Pika, but well, he's not really freeing up Pika, but he's gonna win against Pika. Pika needs to win this set to stay in the game right now. It's not looking so good. We got a wall break from Kratos. Kratos is going to start using all of those resources. And Pika just said, I'm a super three redemption. Oh, oh, Kratos! Clean low to blow up the super. And now Kratos blocking Pika pressure. Pika rolling through. Flip kick. Flip kick. Uh-uh. Kratos with the punch. Kratos with the launch. Kratos going to win a, a ground break? No. No ground break from Kratos. Pika with the sway. There's a counter hit launch. Kratos dropping his corner combo. Gets the launch on Pika. He's looking for the wall. Pika, no. Break it up. Pika going for the armor. Pika with the grab. This is going to ground break. This is going to ground break. Pika into heat. Into spending it. This is going to give Pika a substantial life lead. Into the back turn mix up. Into a flip kick. No. Kratos gets the launch. And that is going to be all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. Kratos, let's go ahead and update that score, ladies and gentlemen. Kratos, five to one on Pika. Final score, ladies and gentlemen. The winner of this contest with a score of five to one, representing the Xbox team. Number one on Xbox as far as Tekken Beat goes. I give you Kratos! Now, let's find out who won the fashion award, ladies and gentlemen. Who was most fashionable in that contest? All right, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the fashion poll with a vote of two to one, it is Kratos! He is not only the strongest player on Xbox, the number one ranked on Xbox, but he is also the most fashionable on Xbox. Ladies and gentlemen, a big shout out to Kratos for the victory over Pika. Kratos final score, five to one over Pika. You'll love to see if Pika did not give up one bit. Did not Give up, however, Kratos taking it home there. All right, let's look at the card. Here we go. Here's the deal. We don't have any more matches. That was supposed to be the main event, uh, and everybody's gone. There's, like, no more viewers. I mean, we do have one more time for one more match if somebody wants it. Otherwise, I'm going to send this raid on out and give my throat a minute to... Uh, a minute to rest for tomorrow because I'm expecting tomorrow to be uh, pretty sweaty as well. So uh, yeah, let's see. Kratos says you're really as good 
Tika and Kratos being friendly, being nice to each other. You like to see it, man. I want to see you guys level each other up, man. Uh, so, yeah, it doesn't look like there's anybody else wanting to step up, step in. You know what I'm saying? Let me scroll up. Hey, what's up, Mini Talk? Let's crack a late. Yeah, we were still going, but I believe that was it. I believe that's the end. There's no one else looking to sign up for any more matches. Um, so I guess we'll end it early, I guess. I'm going to go tabulate the scores and post all that stuff in the Discord for you guys right now. So keep your eye on the Discord. It will be updated with the uh, up-to-the-minute scores here as soon as I get them done. In the meantime, I'm going to send this raid out. All right, who are we raiding? For those of you that are on YouTube, I want to thank you guys for your support and coming out. And uh, definitely a big thank you to all of you who support us and uh, keep Tekken Beef going. Let me see if I can find somebody to raid. Who is playing Tekken right now? We're just going to raid any rando Tekken 8 streamer. So please stay in the chat. Right, stay in the chat. No need to run. Who needs the viewers? Alright? Unless there's someone else I know. If there's someone I know, I'm gonna send y'all there. Alright? Let's see. Who are we gonna send y'all to? Who do I know? I don't know anybody streaming. Is there anybody you guys want? Toad says, is that it? All the matches? No one else wants to sign up. Uh, all the viewers just left. And so, I, yeah, I guess that's it. Kratos says he's down to play again. I mean, I guess we could do one more match, but everybody's already gone. There's, like, no more viewers. They already left. So I'm just going to send this raid out. I do appreciate those of you guys that, um, that kept with us here today. Um, I appreciate everybody rolling up. I'm going to send y'all to, uh, oh, Fighting GM. It's his birthday. We're going to raid Fighting GM, all right? That's who we're going to raid. So let's go ahead. Let's jump in that raid. I'm going to set that up. We're going to raid Fighting GM. And then, uh, and then I'll see you guys tomorrow. Make sure you guys sign up. <coughs> oh, fuck. Make sure you guys sign up and get down for tomorrow. And uh, we'll get down, man. We'll get crazy. And uh, hopefully you guys... Oh, you guys want to do a match now? Man, there's nobody here. Toad and Kratos. Like, all the viewers left. Like, I would host the match, but nobody's watching. I feel bad. So we'll just send the raid out. I apologize, but you guys are tardy. That's not my fault, man. Dude, I had to sit here and beg for matches for like the last like hour. So it's like, yeah, just try not to be tardy tomorrow because we lose a lot of viewers when I have to sit here and beg for matches. Like when I gotta like try and get people on stream, the viewers should just drop. So, you know, Try to sign up, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow, all right? We're going to check out Fighting GM. So show Fighting GM some love. And, uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing everybody tomorrow. Where's he at? Where's he at? Why is my shit being stupid? All right, I'm trying to get this raid going. All right, see you guys later.